What's up, man? Hey, Gordo. <laughs> Took Damn, a you, second there to get ready. You did that like ritual style, dude. <laughs> I do it. I do it, uh, do it five times a week, bro. Damn. Awesome. All right. Hey, man. You're a legend, bro. Uh, thanks for coming on the show. Um, uh, I listen to your show a lot. And uh, I, I did want to talk to you about a couple things. Uh, I guess first, let's let you everyone roll, know. rolling already? No kissing? Oh, yeah. Straight in? <laughs> oh, shit. This is fucking jumping in dry, son. What's the crack? No intro? No fucking, who's this guy? What's the story? What are we talking about? It's just like, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> What's going on? I know you as Lizard News Network. I don't even know your first name, bro. This oh, shit. Like, I'm sorry, dude. I, I'm yeah, this is some eyes wide shut shit. It's like, shh. <laughs> Shh, no names, no names. <laughs> Sets kinkier that way. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Well, by the way, my name's Elijah Mindiola. I am Elijah from- Mindiola. <laughs> what a fantastic name! Where'd you get that? Half of it is uh, Amish, and the other half is <laughs> Spanish. What's going on? <laughs> it's Elijah Ezekiel Mindiola. To be Shit. correct, are you actually <laughs> Amish? I am a uh, half white, half Mexican. There you go. All right. <laughs> yeah, Just a dude. good half. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Some days I play white. Some days I play Mexican, depending on, on what, yeah, what uh, neighborhood who, you're in. Yeah, who I'm oppressed by at that day at exactly. work or, or whatever. Yeah. It I'm works great. from the white stuff recently, yeah? <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. Lean I am in, Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> I am uh, in South Texas, so we do got some racist people down here. Well, look, um, that's the, that's the, that's your original land, I guess. Um, so yeah. you're, more than, you're more than able, but yeah, mucho yeah. gusto, man. Uh, yeah, Cantada. for Cantado. sure, man. <laughs> Thanks very uh, much for having me on the show. Uh, it was a little bit of a surprise to be asked, but I'm doing loads of swap casts and we're doing uh-huh. loads of, uh, those little appearances and trying to reach out to the greater community. Oh, for sure, and man. Shit, this is going to be going on my feed too. This is like a nice, oh, swap great, cast. man. We're going to talk about some shit I and introduce that. you. Yeah. Elijah Ezekiel <laughs> Mindiola. Mindiosa. <laughs> do, you, do you put do you do like the Spanish and put a th on this? Uh, Mindiosa. I, I say Mindiola. 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 Yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah, bro, you see you you uh you reached out to me and you're just like, you wanna come on the show? I was like, fuck, why not? Uh, dude, that's great, Let's bro. Give it a go. Yeah, man. I, I like that, man. I like that a lot, man. I really well, I, I was even me. surprised you answered me back. I'm like, oh snap. Will I tell and, you uh, a little secret? I sure. fucking answer everybody back. Every that's cunt awesome, that dude. sends me a message. <laughs> I spend so long on the toilet, my arsehole has fallen out like a fucking a clown at a children's birthday party with, with balloons falling out of his pockets. Damn. Because I spend so long on the toilet. Yeah. Replying to people. Can't, I think if, yeah. you, if someone takes the time to come and re- make a message to me and be like, even if it's just like, love the show, bro. I'm like, thanks so much. T- thanks so much, bro. Right. At least, right? The, at least, if they yeah, come with yeah. the good questions. Sometimes yeah. I get, hi, Gordo and team. Whichever of Gordo's team is going to be answering these questions. Tell the team. I was like, motherfucker, there's no team. <laughs> this is Just me. me. <laughs> with yeah. my dick b- bell end hanging into the toilet, uh, into Correct. the water of the toilet, <laughs> answering your questions, being like, mm, straight up, cold and wet. It's straight up, man. That's how it yeah. goes. Hell yeah. On a warm day, my balls might join it. That's the thing. So <laughs> it's, um, it's well, on in me Texas, all the time. Yeah, in Texas, Jesus Christ, it's hot and humid as shit over here, man. Hot and wet. It's nice if you're oh, a lady, but dude. it's no good if you're in a podcast studio, right? Yeah, for sure, man. My my woman's like, you should do the podcast in the garage. I'm like, it's 115 degrees in there. <laughs> uh, you, you should know, do I the don't... podcast outside. <laughs> <laughs> in the shade. Somewhere. Yeah, for <laughs> For real, yeah. I'm I'm working on getting an AC in there because she bitches at me because I'm in my room. But uh ah uh, yeah, but you're looking. Yeah. You gotta yeah. you gotta be where you're comfy, right? I'm just yeah, for sure. the studio. This looks like some kind dude, of dude. 
I think is dope. Any teenager with too much money. Um, <laughs> but I'm trying to make. I'm trying to represent every little bit. You know, you can see. Yeah. The little the Baphomets and the fucking dude. Knights Templars and all the little, everything means something. You know, it's all. I, it's I was all looking at that like in the background. Now I was like, damn, he's got a Templar, a Baphomet, and uh, I. I think I saw Cthulhu over there. Cthulhu's up the top here in the top Hell right. Hell yeah. yeah. We got a sat here. We got the. I haven't painted this lad yet. He's a white horse from uh, outside of the Denver airport booking Bronco oh, job. Oh snap! I got to paint him blue still, and I'm I'm gonna yeah, try and work the, the red eyes. Laser red eyes. <laughs> oh, dude, that'd be tight. <laughs> Install that shit, yeah, boy. What the hell's going on over there at the Denver Where, airport? In Ireland? And no, no, oh. in the Denver airport, that too. But yeah, look at who who the fuck knows, man. Have like, you seen those went, paintings? Oh, sorry. Yeah, Leo Tanguma is that fella's name. But it's not just the paintings, though. Like, it's yeah. everything together. It's mixing yeah. all up. Mix the paintings with the weird, like, rock formations, with the weird uh, inscriptions, the weird gold inlay in the tiles, the fucking crazy horse, the blue horse with the laser yeah. eyes. Who, who, correct me if I'm wrong now, people of the internet, he was, he was, the, 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 the artist that was um, sculpting that horse, as far as I remember, this could be my dirty mind, he was sculpting the balls of the horse and the balls of the horse were so big and heavy that they fell off and hit him in the head and killed him. What? Yeah, and they had to just reattach the the half sculpted balls. But apparently he does have hanging, I don't know if it was the balls particularly, but apparently yeah. it fell off anyway or fell over at one point and killed the artist as he made it. So that, um, that horse's artist is brown bread. Damn. From making that horse, and it's like it makes the fucking and it stands out and it's lit up real weird, so it makes it even more creepy. Yeah, but what's even more creepy is the fucking inscriptions at the front door, which is like what is the it? population? The population will be this much and the, erected by the Freemasons of of Denver and blah blah blah. It and says that. Yeah, yeah. I, I we'd have to look it up, I guess. But um, how how in God's name? Brain. Yeah, how the hell could they just? Oh, it's no big deal. It just says we're going to have a uh, hundred, uh, 10 million people on the planet or something like that, you know, and people just don't care, I guess. Well, it's not that they don't care. It's just, they don't think that it, it's real or important until something happens that, you know, yeah, makes it look like it's almost going to happen. Right. And they're like, oh shit, no, that's actually happening. Like, you know, <laughs> you won't, yeah, it's, it's all these things, man. All of this shit. Look at, did you ever see that video of uh, the people playing basketball? <laughs> And then uh, you're supposed to look at the picture and they're like, and what, count how many times the white team uh, right. passes the ball and you're counting, counting, counting. And a motherfucker in a gorilla suit <laughs> yeah. walks through the scene and then it's like, did you see the gorilla? And you're like, what? Like, I didn't see a gorilla. Yeah. And you watch it again, you're like, holy shit. Like your brain is only focusing on the shit that you, you know, point it at. And sometimes right. you can't even see that. Yeah, um, I know. All the all the Darren Brown. Do you ever watch Darren Brown, the the the, the Channel Four, the British uh, mentalist? I guess he's like hyp hypnosis and mm -hmm. uh, mentalism, and uh, he does all these crazy experiments. You know, he's an amazing TV show where he shows all the fallacies of the human mind. But um, yeah, yeah. There's an inscription on one of Leo Tanguma's paintings. It says, "I once was a little child who longed for other worlds, but I am no more a child, for I have known fear. I have learned to hate." How tragic then is youth, which lives with enemies, with gallows ropes, yet I still believe I only sleep today, that I'll wake up a child again and start to laugh and play. <laughs> like, it's fucking... It's what weird, in the hell show. was that? That weird. was bizarre, dude. That was bizarre. And then bizarre. it has, like, it has like a, a, a guy with a giant scimitar. Yeah, I saw that. Chopping through shit and... All the all the women with the dead babies and all going on the roll like yeah, up, bro. And then like that guy more... has a gas mask on and stuff. Yes, yeah, yeah. But what's yeah. even more mental, though, Elijah, is the budget that the seems budget. to be obfuscated by all the crazy paintings. So I think, and I said that on the show that we done already, thoseconspiracyguys.com. Uh huh. For sure. That these motherfuckers went over. It's so long ago. I'm just pulling these numbers now. I think. Was it 90 billion? It could have been 900 billion. I think that's too much. That sounds too much. 90 billion dollars over budget. I knew it was a nine. And it was billion. So 90 billion dollars over budget. They moved two trillion tons of earth. That's a lot of earth. What? With these huge, you know, these fucking trucks that make, that look like, um, you know, the pictures you see of dinosaurs real sizes next to humans. Yeah. So then yeah. you have like, 
a tiny, tiny man. little man. And then a ma- so they have yeah. these trucks and the wheels are like the yeah, size the of wheel, eight yeah. houses. Yeah, I've seen so them before. Those kind of JCBs and those kind of earth movers moving out the trillions of tons of earth. They dug down like 12 floors worth of earth, like way more than was necessary or was in the plans. And they overshot the budget by so much. And then all of a sudden it was just like, well, there's an airport now. <laughs> and and they had loads of different teams coming in to build. And then a certain team would get so far and they're like, okay, you can all go home. Next team in and they build the stuff and they don't know what's underneath. They just know that they have to build on top. And I'm like, that's how Joseph Fritzl built his fucking sex dungeon. It's just like break up the work so nobody knows what's underneath what you're building. Yeah. And then it says that there's fucking nine floors underneath the What the says common, that? Like the two, there's a fucking train station that who goes say, underneath. Who it. says that? Well, the people. The people oh, who okay. talk about the, the conspiracy theory. Like oh, that, okay. uh, as you go deeper and deeper underneath yeah. Denver Airport, there's a luggage train track on floor oh. five that's accessible, I guess, to the automated luggage dudes. Yeah. But then there's another train track underneath that. That oh. uses that train track. So it was like a, a massively intricate, hugely expensive express uh, luggage trans- transportation track system underneath the airport that was never used. Like they never <laughs> switched it on properly. They never Dude. turned it on properly. So what the fuck is that transporting? And it also so, connects to loads of underground tunnels and loads, like because America's crisscrossed with all of these right uh, cave and, systems and underground yeah. tunnels and shit and the, denver's like almost in the middle of america i mean it, if, you were like, to, if you were to say right get every rich billionaire motherfucker onto a train onto a little tram you know like in ducktales <laughs> or something like that all the millionaires in the train system ducktales yeah. Come on now, don't forget the children. Bring the children. You have to remember the children. What else are we gonna fuck now, DuckTales? Like, Hell put them yeah. all on this underground system. Yeah. And fucking shooting them all into this massive, like, ginormous, like, hundreds of thousands of square feet limestone cave system underneath Colorado. And under Colorado, they already have mad cave systems. They have fucking. Uh, oh, yeah. Because the mountains. That's that shit, in... Cheyenne Mountain they have there, which is like a genuine uh, uh, NORAD like base like that's the thing from terminator mm-hmm. 3 or terminate terminator 3 or 4 where like the the main dudes in america like all the military personnel and the nora and the chiefs yeah. the chiefs of staff and all that's where they fucking go when there's nuclear bombs going off and that's like up the road <laughs> damn dude so like that, that shit is all connected bro like 100 percent. like how yeah. could you go over budget and dig that big of a hole and then not put something underneath it you know oh for sure so what the hell do you think they're transporting are they are they importing or are they exporting that's the real question. I look at, I have a, an episode coming up later on in the season. Yeah. The very infamous and now quite popular, but not as popular as it should be, mm-hmm. uh, theory from David Paulides, mm-hmm. who talks about the missing 411. Have you ever heard of that? The, four, the 411? Yeah. The, like, uh, yeah, like in the woods, how people just mysteriously go missing. Yeah, they're fucking... Bigfoot what? rape victims. They're just the Bigfoots are just like <laughs> me, me. Fuck you. You no tell tales. You, and then I, <laughs> first and then you I, date, then you dinner. <laughs> That's what happens, man. Dude, do do you think there's Bigfoots out there raping people or aliens? I mean, not or raping people. Fuck? Maybe, maybe like you saw how friendly Harry was with the Hendersons. Maybe it's not rape. <laughs> maybe it's just like I'm running off with Bigfoot. Yeah. I mean, he's got big feet, so he's got big other stuff. Right, for sure. But is it like a human's or is it like a dog's red rocket? Like which? Yeah. What do you well, th- which you know? is it? Yeah. Which is it? <laughs> uh, shit that keeps me awake at night. I think that um, David Pauly just started off as a Bigfoot researcher. Mm-hmm. And then he fell quite deftly into something a little bit more tangible, which is a bunch of people going missing in America's national parks. Now, Do you think that that maybe is like a catalyst for him to say, well, Bigfoot's not going to work. Let me try something else that can maybe, you know what I mean? Like maybe I don't he's, think he's playing not into work. it. It's not that <laughs> Bigfoot wasn't working. Bigfoot is like totally legit as oh, a yeah, conspiracy that's topic. Yeah, you're right. But it kind of makes him look like a bit of a silly goose if. Um, oh, yeah. He's maybe he wanted to be that. more creditable or something. Like, oh, maybe I can come up with something more credible and. You know, Amazon will pick it up and we can make a doc and stuff like that, you know. He's but, hanging on to the tangible facts, right? But yeah. Like, nothing, nothing is saying that Bigfoot is not um, an interdimensional 
you know, future manifestation of yeah. some kind of species of alien or some older version of the human race that's able to phase in and out of our physical realm. You know, take t- you, that's why they're all the, the photos are always blurry because those guys yeah. they don't actually they're not actually like a monkey in our you know a giant monkey man in our dimension. It's kind of some interdimensional thing, but that's like way deep into the four one one stuff. Mm-hmm. Mostly the tangible, um, the tangible conspiracy is. Motherfuckers go out for a walk in a national park. Next thing, in, and they're with groups of people and shit, or there's a kid yeah. and it's, it's running from grandpa to their parents, or it's like three girls go out walking and they're they're walking one behind the other, and then the person at the end of the line, they look around and they're like, candy? <laughs> candy? <laughs> Fucking no sign of candy, man. They're gone. Gone zone. Yeah. And then they and find then, their and shoes, like, neatly, yeah, they find their boots, like, neatly stacked up with their clothes just folded, and, you know, like, like they like just they said, disappeared. you know, yeah, man. Like they vanished from existence, bro. And then yep. the aliens came back and went, oh, I better fold these to confuse people. <laughs> it's like, yeah, oh, right. They're like, do you want to come into the other dimension? And they're like, yeah, right. We can't bring any of your Leave clothes. Your clothes. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what? So, it's like, yeah, yeah. They won't survive the journey. Uh, so like the, and yeah. they burn onto your skin. Just take yeah. off all your clothes. And I was like, dude, I've heard lads do that in nightclubs when they're going into <laughs> the disabled toilets. They're like, come on into another dimension. We can't take off all your clothes. Get naked. Like, what? I was like, just get naked yeah. now, quick. Yeah. The blow's um, better in here when you're naked. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, like, all of the missing 411 reports and, and disappearances, like, I, I'm going to be going as deep as I can go without actually yeah. being there or without actually being David Polidis myself. And, uh, you know, reading all of his books. I have all his books over there on the shelf. Nice. And um, it's just like, try to tell the story without getting weird with it. Yeah. You're just going, this guy did this. He went here, fucking disappeared never to be seen had no like ideations of suicide yeah. wasn't you know was well yeah. able to traverse the, the 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 wilds of wherever the fuck he was mm-hmm. living not a man to go missing no, months years go by haven't been found but if you overlay the map of all the people going missing and then you overlay the map of all of the cave systems underneath all of the national parks in america yeah they match up almost like pretty perfectly right so what's happening is there a is there a some kind of species coming out of these underground, underworld, yeah. Hogwarts type tunnels and snatching up motherfuckers for lunch and dinner, and leaving their yep. clothes behind because they're like yuck, the denim yeah. is not delicious. That's so right? weird, right? It's almost like you have to go there, like you you have to speculate. Like it's just so weird well, that you can't just write it off as oh he just went missing and his clothes are just folded there, you know? Well, I think it's a natural evolution for someone like Paulides who was a Bigfoot researcher originally. Right. To then pivot into this because he's like, well, this is a bigger, a bigger um, conspiracy. It's like Bigfoot is kind of right. some shaky, you know, Patterson Gimlin footage or somebody, some motherfucker with a camera or lads hoaxing or like making yeah, like eight sure. episodes of finding Bigfoot going out, going, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like clapping sticks off each other. And <laughs> yeah, seen that. What, what, what you got to do is bang on the tree and make it sound like you want somebody to fuck you. <laughs> like and you're like okay bro you got eight yeah, seasons that, of that fair play like that oh, is yeah. coin making right but oh for sure the next evolution is let's make real things yeah like let's let's go into like factual things and make them into the material that will create as content because it's more tangible there's real names there's real people exactly. it's more believable yeah but but by the same token i don't know if you listen to the montauk project episode I think there's another level that Polly just needs to maybe dive into. And he does in later mm-hmm. books, but it's not as explicit as I think it could be. He's yeah. just laying out all the evidence and going, here we go. Mm-hmm. The National Park System, all right, and the National Parks Service and the laws and rules around National Parks and the fact that they, almost all of the cave systems, underground cave systems in the US, the, the ground the, the the ground level of those cave systems is all national parks. Yes. I um, actually actually I like where I live at, there are a bunch of caves over here. Uh-huh. I, and they're I'm all protected, right? Oh yeah, parks, for sure. Right? Like they even have billboards like, oh, come visit the natural caves. And then they have like a little they have like a little fake dinosaur looking guy. And then it's like I've been to them. Like yeah, I go over there and I'm like, okay, they have like a shack where you it's like they turn it into like this novelty thing, you know, like you pay 50 bucks, you can go down in the cave and, you know, you can look around and, and then they got some areas where you don't go and you're just like, kind of like, what the for, hell is going on here? reasons. Yeah. 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 You might yeah, slip yeah. and fall and yeah. see another 
species. Yeah. <laughs> do some fucking, uh, uh, what's his name? Phil Schneider shit and stumble out and somebody laser off your fingers or something like that. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, like, yeah. what the hell? I wish they would just be like, you could pay a hundred bucks, go around and explore or do whatever the hell you want, you know? 10,000, fuck it. So whatever you find, you find. And if you can survive you can keep it. an alien attack, you can tell your story for ages and make your money back. Like, that's yeah. the start of podcast. Yeah. But sincerely, like, the stuff that's in those national parks, when we talked about that in the Montauk Project episode, I looked into that. I was like, "Hmm, that's a that's a bit that's a bit strange, isn't right. it? Right, that, 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 right. That they can have like a radar array system in like Camp Hero, which is now in a national park, and the guys that came out of that, like um, uh, Preston Nichols and Al Bielik and all these guys, came out and said, like, yeah, there's a huge underground system. There's a huge underground base at Montauk, mm-hmm. Long Island, and then." I was kind of looking into the the topography and the land at Long Island, which is like a, a sedimentary um, kind of rock formation that doesn't lead well to building like deep down, which is why they don't have any skyscrapers or any t- really tall buildings on right. Long Island because yeah. they can't dig you can't. the foundations yeah, down deep enough mm-hmm. to have them be solid in the rock because the rock is not a solid rock. So I'm like, yeah, eh, there's not, unless, unless, right? And we, I looked into it as well. Unless they were able to get into Long Island, excavate like they did with Denver Airport, a huge mm-hmm. big scoop of land, and then like foundationally sand see, and all kinds seal of that crap. seal that shit off with like sand and plastic and mm-hmm. all the stuff from from being waterlogged, cement walls, and then build inside of it and then cover it over. But some come to them like, "Oh, they're fucking digging a giant hole over here. <laughs> What's going on over there?" Right? Yeah, yeah. You're long, like, "Yeah, you don't come around here digging holes on Long Island like that, <laughs> motherfucker." Like, so like, so like, unless they did that, there's no way that they could dig deep down. Yeah, for sure. Because yeah, what? The guys had all psychic powers and mental powers, so maybe they and Preston Nichols claims that that's what they were doing. They were going like and fucking right. making these caves with their mind and shit. Oh, that's snap. fine. That's fine. If that's there, fine. But what you can't do as a private citizen or even as a researcher without express permission from the National Park Service, which is a federal agency, let's not yeah. forget, you can't go and explore that. You can't go with it like a commoner garden sonogram. And like shoot it down into the ground to see how deep the shit goes. You can't, there's no like way to get ordnance surveys to find out how deep that shit yeah. goes. And you can't do that for most of the national parks. So it's almost like, what's the president that made the national parks? Is this Teddy Roosevelt? Man, I don't know. It's one of them good lads, one of the smiley yeah. ones. Teddy Roosevelt, <laughs> let's say, I think. Yeah, let's call it that. Someone, someone will correct us. That's the internet. Mm-hmm. Teddy Roosevelt made the national park system and it went like, I want to preserve this land so that like capitalists can't come and eat it all up and build shit on it. And it's like, yeah, cool. Benevolent. Nice. That sounds good. Right. Sounds good on, on paper. paper. Yeah. But also really cool way to, uh, perfect way. H- hide a load of fucking underground for sure uh, alien species and make sure that nobody can build on it. So that means nobody can dig on it, which means that they won't disturb the already inhabited, uh, I don't know, creatures or entities that live under there or whatever's under there. They're not disturbing the cave system so that people can fucking snatch up children and put them on the fucking duck tails on the train going in and out <laughs> of Colorado. Like it all kind of connects, man, you know, like that's, that's the, yeah. that's the so way it works. It is so weird that they can just not even like a major company could go, uh, excavate or, or um, you know, build on those lands. Like even the the biggest dicks, they they still tell them no. Yeah. You know, like hey, oh, there's no, no, you're not coming over here. You know what I mean? There's no exceptions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no amount of money can 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 buy you. You that's know, part weird. of the national park. That is weird. I never thought about and that. And that's on a country that's built on money. But the thing is, is Ireland like that? Interdimensional space aliens don't fucking <laughs> use or need money. They're like. Yeah. We are the ones who give you money as a system to rule. <laughs> we do not need this. We are beyond this. And you're like, yeah, don't. It's like mm, your money is no good to me, Bill Gates. You keep our, we keep our land. You keep your vaccines. Like it's like, yeah, do you know? Yeah, who made the national parks? Let's because I want to fucking. It, is Ireland like Teddy that? Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy yeah, fucking Roosevelt. I fucking knew my Damn instincts it, were correct. And so is Ireland like that too? Do you have national parks and shit? Ah, yeah, man. But I mean, Ireland is one of those places where uh, 
All you need to do is get one guy elected and have him have a conveniently open pocket wide enough to slip yeah. the brown envelope into. I'm not saying anything can be bought because there are certain elements that can't be, but there's a lot of things that were bought and paid for and kind of given away in shittiness, in short-sighted greed that yeah. we now see the detriment of in our both economy and our culture and society. Uh, one, w- one example for and against, we have a thing called the Phoenix Park, which is the largest green heart area in our country. It's right in the middle of Dublin City. It's like hundreds of acres. It has native deer species running around. It has the president's house, like our version of the White House, which is Oris mm. on Luke Duran. Um, that's where our president lives. And he's purely, you know, a, a figurehead. He's not a, an actual, like, you know, political dude. It, it, and he's yeah. a little fella, he's a little small fella called Michael T. Higgins. But he talks like <laughs> this and he's very Irish now. He like, would be the, the equivalent of, of <laughs> could I say, like Dobby from... Um, uh, Harry Potter, you know, he looks kind of like that, and he's very Irish, and he's a great girl. He speaks Irish, and he's the epitome now of what you would think of an Irishman, right? Uh, going around, and he's the president. And yeah. then nobody's allowed to build on the Phoenix Park. There's a big road that goes through it, so there's like you know people commute up and down. There's a highway that goes through the middle of it, but the rest of it is all untouchable, and it has like loads of native species and all that shit in the middle of a city. Yeah, and that's like protected. No one can ever go near that. And then on the other on the other side of it. We had, you know, a, a bunch of natural gas deposits on the West Coast that were very lucrative. They worked out into the billions of billions of pounds, right? Do y'all do drilling over there for natural gas uh, and fracking and stuff like that? I, I, I don't know about fracking in Ireland. Um, Interesting. But I, I, I do know that there are natural gas deposits. Yeah. And Shell were looking for them. And right. And these multinational corporations came in and they basically greased the palms of a bunch of... Um, politicians here easily i'm sure easily for for pittance for for pennies oh, yeah. on the dollar oh for sure and these motherfuckers just signed away the rights and all you want to yeah. do is come in and buy a beach and when you buy so, the beach you own the water that's attached to the beach and yeah, you put a fucking rig out there yeah so basically they sold away a lot of our natural resources because of the european mm-hmm. union they sold away a lot of the fishing rights to, sp- to spain they sold away like a lot of things and it's kind of like the european union came in and went so, uh, Ireland, uh, we know that you are, how you say, uh, <laughs> poor as shit. It's 1973. You have just got electricity in parts of your country that have been dark for hundreds of years. You're completely fucked. We will give if you, you $5.99. Our... <laughs> yeah. If you want our help, uh, we can give you the money, but we will yeah. come. And when we come, you will have to pay. <laughs> yeah. And then the next thing, we're like, okay. We are going to make you win eight Eurovisions in a row. And the rules are, your country has to host the Eurovision. When you win, it will almost bankrupt your whole country. And this is part of the repayment. Like, Damn. they fucked us up and they took a load of shit. Like, took loads of fucking, um, took loads of um, fishing rights and Yeah, it's, it's so weird. It, it's so weird because, like, when That's we're right. in America, I, I'm always in, entrenched with American politics. You know what I mean? And so it's almost like you're living in an entire different world. Like I'm sure you ah, hear yeah. about America's crap, but um, I, I tend to not it, look at Irish stuff a lot. I tend to really? I, I'm very American focused and kind of partially British focused. Uh, so Irish so, politics is boring, man. Yeah. So like from where you're at, is it weird to is does it does America look like that's like the world stage? Like everyone's paying attention to what the hell's going on over here, or does it just seem like that to me because I live here? You know what I mean. To me, because it's my job, I yeah. look at America. I'm very, very American facing, culturally, mm-hmm. societally, financially, mm-hmm. um, politically. I'm I'm very focused on America. Right. So it's how do you? Also, it's also one of the most interesting places. To be fair, really, There's so many people doing so many things. A lot it's of the wild, media that dude. I've, dude, it's wild, the media bro. that I've consumed in my whole life comes from America. Crazy. The culture that I'm here. In now in Ireland has been massively Americanized since the early nineties. Mm. Um, all the jokes, all the pop culture references, all the TV shows, books, movies, computer games, uh, all the fucking graphic novels, all of the yeah. podcasts, the YouTube channels, like a- almost exclusively everything I listen to is either British or American. Like we had a massive British influence when I was growing up of a lot of the comedy shows mm-hmm. around like BBC and ITV. A lot of those old British comedians, like we didn't really have an infrastructure here in Ireland 
Yeah, America has a lot of culture, you know. A lot of modern culture. Yeah. That's based on, no, and this is the thing, you see, so there's a trade-off, right? So mm -hmm. Ireland has a massively rich and varied heritage. We have right. a history. We have a feeling of um, generational ease. You know, the things mm -hmm. that the things that happen to Irish people, we know about. Mm -hmm. We know where we come from. We know what makes us up. We know who we are. There's a cultural identity that's very clear and distinct. Now, sometimes yeah. it can be, you know, succinctified into something like, ah, oh, they're a bunch of uh, red-headed leprechaun fighting <laughs> St. Patrick's Day drunkards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, around St. Patrick's Day, that might not be incorrect. Right. See, that's we're a also Texas. A, very, a very highly, highly educated yeah, country. oh, I wouldn't doubt that. Very um, technologically advanced as mm -hmm. far as like, uh, uh, you know, infrastructure, but also the 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 in te technology industry, the, in the information technology right. industry, ha like all of their fingers are in our pies, let's, let's say. All the major companies like Facebook, Twitter, Google, uh, Amazon. Um, what the hell they're doing? PayPal, eBay, they all have their head offices are all in Ireland. What? Apple. Yeah, yeah, all of their head offices are their all in Their head offices are over there? Why? Yeah, son. Some people say that because we made a deal with the European mm. Union and we made Crazy a deal shit. with America that it's like a tax haven, do you know? Um, oh, those bastards. They, they're, <laughs> yeah, they're coming in here and, and doing that. But there's also like loads of um, technology companies like Hewlett Packard, Intel, like they all have their manufacturing here and their head offices here. That is so uh, weird. And then there's loads of medical companies like Pfizer and all those. They're, See, like, I thought all the, I thought all those uh, places were in China. No, nah, son, Ireland. Damn. See, that's yeah. weird. Like we get the we, I get the vibe that like oh everything's made in China. You know what I mean? And yeah. uh, because they got rid of a lot of our jobs here, man. And and uh, Joe Biden. Well, the manufacturing to, jobs, yeah. It's all tertiary yeah, yeah. industry. It's all service industry, or it's all um tertiary like non manufacturing you don't make that no more we don't no, make, we don't it make shit anymore in america man. yeah gotta get yeah. back to they making took shit. jobs we're driving driving japanese cars and, <laughs> you know Dude. we're eating we're eating uh we're eating argentinian avocados come on man <laughs> yeah that and that's how people see texas like we're just fucking riding around in horses shooting guns and wearing cowboy hats and shit like that you know but texas but, uh, was its own its own kind of um self-contained money-making in just like a, a, a nation almost like of, yeah. of oil production and it was yeah. the, for us here in ireland it was the epitome of of american opulence everything really? everything bigger in texas man dude texas you know, is um, texas is pretty awesome bro it, it's I, I don't doubt it i don't yeah doubt it. that's why all of the la comedians are moving there right uh, the impressions of america from ireland like you were asking is like like i would take it a lot differently than a lot of other Irish people would like a lot of other Irish people like oh right. Americans are dumb uh, yeah. Americans are loud uh, Americans are a bit like uh, flashing flashing the cash and a little bit kind of like overcompensating for something <laughs> and this is this is like most of Ireland Irish people's perceptions of Americans because the people that they meet or the people that they see on TV are all these vacuous right you no know, uh, shallow Oh yeah, uh, sure. simpletons Bane. who are yeah. vain and yeah. uh, you know materialistic, and then the yeah. people that we meet when they come here on holidays, it's all like, "Come on, Helen, we're going to go and look at the Blarney Stone," <laughs> and they're like <laughs> queuing up to kiss a stone that Cork people piss on at nighttime. I love it. <laughs> and like he's like, "Helen, this is it this Blarney Stone tangy. is quite salty. Mm, <laughs> it burns my lips. Good. Let like, me taste so it one more time." Yeah, I'm getting asparagus. <laughs> Why does the Blarney Stone taste like asparagus? <laughs> but it's it's a it's a it's a misnomer on both ends. Like we're yeah, not like sure. dr drunken louts, and you guys are not. Yeah, you know, yeah. dumb dumb uh, cargo short wearing, <laughs> baseball cap wearing, <laughs> dumbasses. Like yeah. it's not. It's a fucking stereotype for a reason, right? Oh, for sure. See, because like, Texas, that, Texas yeah. is crazy, dude. Because I'm in South Texas. I'm right here on in the Gulf Coast of Mexico. And uh, I live about a hundred miles from the Mexican border, dude. And uh, like, we got a lot of Mexicans over here. And um, sure, I I'm dating a Mexican, and uh, all my friends are Mexican. And uh, but it seems like there's a lot more legal showing up, dude. Like I go to Walmart, and I'm like, uh, what the hell is going on here? They're all wearing like soccer jerseys, and they're speaking like hardcore Spanish. And there's like ten guys walking around together, and I'm like, damn, 
you know, it's a free for all over here, dude, right now. You would know, would you be able to? Would you be able to tell from somebody's accent in Spanish whether they're illegal or whether they're <laughs> not illegal? I think so, some, dude. Like subconsciously, say, yeah. uh, subconsciously, you know, because I, 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 yeah, like I hang around a lot of people that speak Spanish. Like uh, most of my friends are Mexican. And they have like a Tex-Mex. They call it like a Tejano. You know, it's like a Tex-Mex yeah. version of it's Spanish. It's an accent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But when I hear like someone else talking Spanish, it, it sounds different. You know, I'm like, oh, shoot. You know, those like they cut straight. off the end of words like and they drop like syllables at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff they, runs into each other. You know, somebody who's. Yeah. it's It sounds different for sure. Oh. And uh, but um, uh, I, I actually work in the oil field. And like, all right. yeah, that's like my livelihood. And that's like all my friends' livelihoods. And that was, those were my dad's livelihood. And, um, it's like, we got a big port in a, a refinery, like a huge refinery area. So like that affects us big time. That's why we're like, most Texans were like hardcore Trump, you know, we're like, hell yeah. You know, we're going to start well, drilling it's manufacturing. here. It's like, yeah, it's like ind indigenous American industry, which needs to happen or else you end up a, a, a country of consumers. And then as soon as the people who are creating the products that you consume refuse to sell them to you you're fucked because you've nothing to eat for sure you've to eat with you've nothing to wear you've nothing to use or mm -hmm. buy your economy tanks because yeah. no one can buy or sell that because there's nothing to buy and sell China's and i just see like, no no we keep the plastic shit for us you don't get no nothing no more <laughs> and then you're yeah. like oh what are we yeah, gonna buy oh, sell? right and, yeah. and i i see it dude because when trump was president we were manufacturing tons of equipment right and yeah. as soon as biden came in gas prices raised out the roof and, that, yeah. and, and people oil is inflation and you're like yeah mm, it's not no, inflation though no it's not and, and then the the bear the price of a barrel of gas is like or oil is like 60 something dollars mm -hmm. but but we're not making any equipment it's like what the hell's going on you know so i would imagine that they're just buying it from somewhere else and the gas prices are rising and we're not making the shit anymore you know my theory about that and people are blaming inflation i see these lads at the gas at the gas pumps going like Joe Biden's fucking up, man. It's inflation. <laughs> I, I am paying four dollars for a gallon of gas, and, yeah. and in Ireland we're going what? That's like two euros and ninety cent for an American gallon is four liters. We're paying two euros, which is like three fifty per liter. So our is gallon that... is like fourteen dollars. What in Ireland? That's how much we pay for gas here. Like. No way. Yeah, son. What? Because we, we don't make go on a yourself. killing spree. Like, yeah, <laughs> <can you imagine? laughs> I'd be pissed. Like they don't give a fuck, right? So yeah, uh, in America, the gas prices are going up. This is my little theory. Something, something, little theory. Let's hear it. That they're artificially raising the gas prices. They're getting their gas from elsewhere, and this is what the the Crimean conflict was with Russia in 2017, mm -hmm. because there's a gas pipe or a, a, an oil pipeline that comes through Crimea and goes into Europe. Yeah. So Russia are selling their oil to Germany through that pipeline and America wanted to get the land that that pipeline goes over so they were able to interrupt the supply so that they'd be forced to be able to sell the oil to Germany and they would refine it and turn it into petrol which is much more lucrative in Germany because the European prices for um, petrol that goes in cars is an awful lot higher than it would be in America. So America's like, well, we could sell all of our gas to our Americans and get X amount, or we could export it and sell it for loads more to a country that pays more for it, and then just buy it cheaper from a cheaper country. And that's what yeah. all the hubbub was in Venezuela, because in the Orinoco Straits in Venezuela, there's tens of trillions of barrels of oil. Yeah. But the reason that they won't extract it is because, I know, and you may be able to enlighten me on this, it's dirty oil because it has sand in it. It's not exactly from a, from a, a pure well. Yeah, it's mixed in with sand. It's mixed in with other stuff. So it's like it and has that to be refined. Is, that There's a lot is, more work to yeah. get it out, which makes that's it from more doing expensive. a shit. Yeah, that's from doing a shit job on in a drilling rig. You know, because uh, here in Texas, like when you go to a drilling rig, that shit is like legit. Like there's so many different protocols and everything's. Mm. You know what I mean? Like they they go through a lot to get pure freaking natural gas and oil out of the ground. You know. And they're the probably in the, the way that the Texan ground is, and the way that the, the yeah. ground is, say in Saudi Arabia or in the Middle East, the, way, sure. it, the way it sits or the way the yeah. oil sits in those little pockets, yeah, it's easy to just pop a straw in and suck it out. Exactly. But the way it's it's in the ground in Venezuela, it's broken up into parts. So when you suck it out, it comes out dirty. There's mm -hmm. no way to suck it out clean, basically. Right. And that's why they've left it alone for years and years and years because it was too expensive to take out. So they'd go for the easier stuff first. Yeah. Raise the price of gas. And then when the price is at a high enough 
rate to be able to justify the cost of extracting it from the ground in Venezuela. They're like, boom, new uh, uh, northern Latin oil sources that we <laughs> yeah. can just tap into. Yeah. And like America basically owns a lot of South America with, you know, the political subterfuge and all these kind of installing these puppet dictators and puppet presidents and lads who are in the pocket, let's say, for, for the American government. And Venezuela has been squeezed to within an inch of their life. They were fucking eating food out of the bins. Oh, yeah, like, dude. They had barrels of dollar bills. Like, it was useless money. They're just, like, burning shit. And all that. Yeah. yeah, but but uh, how mental is it that they could potentially could be the richest country on the planet if they were able to actualize yeah, their... That's freaking their, crazy. Their, their oil. Uh, their oil drilling mm -hmm. facilities. But they can't do it themselves. They need another country who's developed a bit more in that to come in and do it for them. Mm -hmm. but there was embargoes there was no country going to do it like america could have just hopped in hopped in over the over the, you know over the water and oh and for like, sure oh, we're here we're going to take it all but they wouldn't do that until they were absolutely demoralized and that's a story that was huge in 2018 2017 2018 yeah i it remember just went away and those yeah, people for sure are still fucked oh they're yeah still they're fucked. still fucked yeah but I, and, we don't hear about it no more because of corona that is or whatever weird. i didn't think about that and the, the, the They're totally fucked, there, bro. Nothing's changed. They're still fucking panicking and going crazy, and you know and why? Why are the lads going mad over Syria, uh, Iraq, Iran, Syria, all that stuff? Because there's yeah. still oil over there, but the OPEC countries have all that shit on lock. Do you know mm. Yemen, Libya? Uh, yeah. oh, sorry, Ye Yemen, uh, uh, Syria, uh, Iran, Iraq. Like that's all going to go back into turmoil now. There's people going to be fighting over the raw materials. Like they have to have a war to get that oil, whereas they just go to Venezuela. And all they have to do is have an election and it's theirs. Oh, yeah. Less, less boots on the ground, less, you know, crazy shit. And they pull all that stuff in. They start manufacturing their own plastic, start manufacturing all that. And they yeah. will have more from the Venezuelan oil than yeah. was ever, than was ever in the Middle East. Right. Why, all why? The millions and billions and the fucking billionaire, trillionaire sheiks and all of these guys that had That's infinity so money. There's mm -hmm. so much more oil in Venezuela than there was ever in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. And those guys are fucking multi-trillionaires, like, right? Oh, hell yeah, they are. So China what? and Iran have been dealing using uh, yuan, which is the Chinese currency, and Iran are selling China the oil, and they're making the plastics and stuff and paying them in yuan, and they've kind of cut America out of the deal, which is why America's poking at Iran. If America is able to cut the Middle East out altogether, pull all the troops out, let them motherfuckers go at it, yeah, and they just focus on Venezuela. They own South America. They don't have to travel all the way around the world, having loads of lads going to fight. They just Venezuela, and they can make their own plastics. They can create their own stuff. And I think that was the medium to long term plan before Trump got voted out. Like that could be something that could, right? I don't know, save American manufacturing. Stop I'm having a deal yeah. with the Chinese. I'm very Stop confused with... why they decided to get the oil from the. Middle East rather than Venezuela. I feel like there's some kind of nefarious reason why they're doing that. I, I can't. It's a war can't, machine as well. Like that's um, true. Like, are we going to go start a war with Venezuela? Take their oil, or you know? I think the Middle East thing was basically profitable. like, do we want the Americans were thinking in the 50s and 60s? Do we want Russia, a communist Russia, to come and take control of all that oil, which they're like basically beside? Do we want to just leave it open season and have them take it all and become like? A way more lucrative and way more prosperous superpower or will we um as they did they installed saddam hussein yep as a as a, an anti communist they killed Russia, his ass but, but but they put him in there because he was anti um anti-russians anti-communism yeah they put him in there to go like right you're our man in, in iraq right he was mm -hmm. a populist he he was elected by um there's a yoke on Netflix called Making a Tyrant, I think it's called, or How to, Ma How to Be a Tyrant. I think I've seen that. It's yeah. fucking brilliant, man, right? Yeah, it is. And Saddam Hussein was, like, loved by all the people. He's a military yeah. leader and all that stuff. And they got and him they wiped in. wiped his ass and, out. Uh, yeah, yeah, but they wiped his ass out because he became useless to them. He became so, <laughs> so powerful that they couldn't do anything with him. The same yeah. as Mad Mark Gaddafi or whatever, right? Yeah, then they destabilized so, like, the country, and then they air all the faction, all the military broke up, and then they started factions to mm -hmm. to to feed their families. And next gonna, thing you know, they're all killing each other. When you exactly, the king, who's going to rule? So they'll exactly. have two factions fighting. Yeah, um, exactly. Assad, the Assad, Daddy Assad, and, and Babi Assad in Syria, they were they were in the fuck in, in America's pocket until they weren't, and then decided with the Russians, and it's like, right, you got to go. 
We're yep. gonna make you look like you gassed your own people, so your people turn on you. We're gonna fucking oh, yeah. put you on your ass. Like mm-hmm. all of these leaders, you know, were installed. They did it all in South America as well, putting in like Noriega and all of these guys. But Bolsonaro is America completely Brazil. fucked? It's not Our, fucked, bro. It's, it's so weird. Never like gonna be fucked. Like, I know, it but feels like probably it is. Yeah, right? it feels like it. Like what? Well, it always seems like a. Uh, and once I started getting into conspiracies, it started with 9 11. And my friend told me, he's like, dude, America had something to do with the Twin Towers. I'm like, no, dude, it was damn Osama bin Laden. He fucking hijacked the plane. Did you and really swallow that shit? That I really did. No, I did. I did for like 10 years or, or more. Shit, son. Yeah. And I then, knew straight away. I was like, <laughs> I was, I was like that really knowing, uh, you know, the, the nanny that minds all the white children. Like, mm mm. <laughs> nope, these watching nope, nope. done fucked up now yeah Mm-mm. yeah like it was Dude, but 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 to a normal surface level american that doesn't pay attention that's i mean i was buying it and, then, and not only like not even like three or four years ago my friend's like what about building seven and i was like what are you talking about he's like yeah dude there was another building that completely collapsed free fall speed that wasn't yeah. even touched and i was like you're fucking lying to me it was and, on fire uh, for two hours and one on the 19th floor and then- yeah it all fell in on top of itself at about half three in the afternoon. But that's you know what that's what blew seven? my mind. After that, I was like, "Oh my god, what the hell?" You know what blew really your mind on? more. Do you know what was in Building Seven? <laughs> What's that? The offices uh, that were inside yeah. Building Seven. There was a lot of greasy shit that was in there, right? Uh, uh, it was. There were like there. It's an it was like security teams and uh, you know the stuff they were you know running oh, running. Go ahead. Oh no! Like it's not. It's not even. It's not even. Um, like, sir, it's not even like underground conspiracy. This is surface level. Yeah, no, I, oh, for sure. They had. Yeah, uh, you could easily look, look what's now. in the building. You know, they had NSA, CIA, FBI, no. IRS. They had INS, holy uh, shit. NIST, FEMA, Secret Service, uh, Securities and Exchange Commissions, SEC, Jesus offices. Uh, New York Emer- uh, Office of Emergency Management, which is Giuliani's offices, basically. Uh-huh. So if anything, anything yeah. went wrong. Um, uh, Department of Defense, DOD, was in there as well. Like, like that that's basically... That's too much, dude. That's, that's too much shit. Yeah, that's like the entire <laughs> military-industrial <laughs> complex had yeah, offices in really, that building. Yeah, really, seriously. So yeah. whatever operations were going on in America yeah. at the time, if they were like, okay, like, <clears throat> don't forget... The day before 9-11, Donald Rumsfeld, Donald Rumsfeld announced yep. that the $2 trillion had gone missing somewhere. Yep. And, and then, then it blew up. Happened. And it was like, it, do, you know when you're, do you know if you're committing fraud or whatever, and you're like, okay, well, we got to tell somebody, somebody knows, and then when they go looking for the evidence, like if you, if you haven't got the paper trail, I can't get you. Yeah, for sure. So like that true $2 trillion... That was supposed to be around and then they balanced the books and they couldn't find it. They just stuffed it all into building seven and collapsed the motherfucker. <laughs> and like the all of the black Pentagon ops that was going hit. on. Yeah. All yeah, all that shit that was going on. So basically, like what I feel is the main thing around 9 11. I know it's terrible because loads of people died and yeah, it was is. all the fucking dudes having cancer and all now from the, the for the, sure, the, man. The, the thermite. The smoke and, and the stuff. dust and all that stuff. That uh it was just like a a cashing out the till. For the millennium. Like they had done oh, 60 or 70 years worth of black operations. And they were, yeah, we're going to cash up, out our chips. They were changing over the tills like they do in the supermarket. And they just need to balance the books, bring it all back to zero and go again. So what Damn. was the first thing they What was the first thing they did after 9-11? Uh, go to Afghanistan and take over Afghanistan. And yep. what's in Afghanistan? The biggest Poppies. heroin production, biggest heroin production in the, in the world. Oxycontin, so they started baby. selling and organizing all the heroin distribution and sale and production and all that stuff, making billions in black budget. So basically, yeah. they just had to zero out their black budget account and start again. And then the next thing you're moving to Iraq, they're trying to get all that oil again. And it's just accruing um, new assets and new right. new um, income streams for the American black budget system, which is yeah. basically going into loads of different continents and countries and taking over and manipulating elections and manipulating uh, the people oh, manipulate. We do whatever we and, want, man. Whatever America does want. whatever the fuck they want. America, uh, fuck yeah. <laughs> like, that's so what it is, bro. yeah. Have you heard that the Taliban were saying now saying that they're going to get rid of all the poppy fields? 
I found that to be interesting detail that pe- most people just kind of like brushed over. I think getting rid of all the poppy fields would get rid of the incentive to be reinvaded by the Americans. Yeah, I would agree. If they want to just control with a theocracy that they have in place. We were protecting uh, the fucking poppy fields, dude. They we were sending were, troops but over we're there. Also, but we're also, that's like wink, protecting the poppy fields. We're also <laughs> protecting like the women from like religious subjugation and the men from religious persecution <laughs> should they, you know, push back against the Taliban. We were protecting the country against like an extremist Muslim regime. Right. While also every cunt in the media in- was going, Islam is totally fine. It's a religion of peace and Islam is great. Yeah. Isn't Islam brilliant? And then they mm-hmm. put up a sign. I don't know if you saw that sign in America. Or in England, if you, if you, I don't know if you saw it from America. In England, they put up these billboards around London, which is, I think, hilarious. Okay. But, but somewhat it? offensive to some. Right. But I think it's hilarious. What did it say? Big bu- billboard that says, Islam is right about women. No. And, no way. <laughs> and it, it broke a lot of people's brains because they were like, right, well, women's rights but also but also islamophobia but also women's rights but also what? islam is totally fine but also but also women like it it, it yeah the snowflakes it, it fucking... and the people who would go mental about that kind of offensive shit was like well fuck there are two things that i vehemently defend like they're the hills <laughs> i will die on and and when they say it like that it sounds bad like what Islam was doing to women in other countries, you know, like genital, oh, female, yeah, genital mutilation, dude, and hell yeah, subjugation, man. And beating them to death and stoning yeah, like, them if they show their hair, you know. And they're still it, doing it right now, dude. Yeah, I just but saw sure, a they video. Asked, they asked the I, dudes. They asked the dudes. The Taliban lads, like, so for adultery in this new Taliban regime, if if you know a woman, a woman, uh, <laughs> it's like the I Eagles could have come it. back I to know. do a tour. It's like so in this tour, you're gonna play yeah. Hotel California. For yeah, them. yeah. No, no, we play, we play. It's favorite, yeah. favorite song. Oh, yeah, inquish um, you. What they say? They say we're gonna be uh, inclusive to the yeah, women. Yeah, Bismillah, Bismillah. We, we're we only gonna everybody. beat them with the strap. We will not kill. <laughs> you see? We just beat to within an inch of a life, Bismillah. So just like, few rocks. Yeah. So they said to him, like, "Are you going? So you're going to stone women to death for adultery?" And it's like, "Well, it says in Quran, so yes." And they're like, "What?" I said, "It says <laughs> in Quran, so yes." Put this on news, and they're like. I don't know if we can put that on the news, but they don't use it. You don't leave here alive. And they're like, okay. It's bananas Damn. to me that they have a lot of female journalists over interviewing them. I know. Just to seen... be like, I'm like, how dangerous do you think that? Because all they have to do is just go, you've offended me. Hold out your hands there. Yeah. Oh, you know, for like, sure. It's, oh, for sure. There's no rules. The slightest. I mean, the slightest thing. Slightest. Your ass will be your ass will be killed or beat to death. I don't Did you see that scene in why... Did you see the CNN reporter, the lady who's like, it's so bizarre. They're saying death to America, but they seem really nice. They seem then, so cheerful. Yeah. And, yeah. Then, <laughs> and she's the one that's going around interviewing people and all. And they're like, um, I, I, she was she's got balls. Guy. I mean, technically or not, stupid yeah. or stupid. <laughs> I mean, I, I think she's got what the, what the Jews would call chutzpah. Do you know? It's a, it's uh-huh. a, she's got, she's got an attitude uh-huh. that may not. If those lads decide to turn on her, oh, she's dude. fucking dead and there's nothing you can do about it, right? They wouldn't even bat she an eyelash. She went to interview this group of Taliban standing around and she was like, uh, so are you going to treat women as badly as you did before? And they were all just like, with their machine guns, like, look, <laughs> turn around and goes, what? Did you just let them in? <laughs> are you going to treat now that you've taken over again? Are you going to treat women as badly as you did before? Uh, maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> Who are you? I'm with CNN. Uh, are you going to make women wear full hijab or will you allow them to have their hair? No, 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 no. Full hijab with the mask, mm-hmm. everything covered the face. We don't want face co- uncovered. And she goes, so niqab then. What do you say? It's like when you cover the fa- like she started to Islam explain to the Taliban what Whoa. the headdress was called. And she was oh like, oh my God. So it's a niqab then. And he's like, uh, when you cover the face, yes, yeah, the niqab. Mm-hmm. Any other question? I have machine gun. Like it was just like, it was like <laughs> did that really happen, fucking, dude? Swear did to that... God, is this a is this a oh, bear you want to poke? Sh- like there's fucking Taliban with, with machine guns and machetes on the yeah. road, and yeah. there's people that are dying so 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 like wanting to get out of the country that they're hanging on to fucking plane wheels. 
to get out of the country and you're going up and annoying these lads over the yeah. semantics of the of the Muslim headdress. Like it just yeah. makes They no don't sense get it, man. I, I don't think I don't they know. understand. They don't understand how crazy these people are. Like but if I, I saw, was the Taliban, I wouldn't want a bunch of poppy fields there because it, it, all it is is like it's like fucking flies around shite. The Americans are out now, but if they want to take heat, you know, maybe the Americans pulled out because uh, they the the cost of keeping the military there versus how much money they were making on the heroin when everybody like everybody's been at home, right? Everybody's yeah. in lockdown. Yeah, there's not that many people earning money. Let's say. Mm-hmm. Not that heroin addicts would be earning a bunch of money, but I'm saying the lads who are <laughs> out dealing drugs, they they don't have the free reign like cocaine sales. Right. Yeah, that are down. Be great they're down. There's no nightclubs. There's no pubs. Yeah. There's no people out. Coke um, sales are down, everybody. We, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hope you don't have stocks in cocaine. <laughs> uh, but like all of those kind of uh, recreational drugs and stuff like that, like uh, hard drugs, are are all gone down in sales because people aren't going out or they don't have the money to buy them. Yeah. So maybe the Americans are just like, ah, you know what? After two years of coronavirus, <laughs> heroin's not the game it used to be. Let's just fucking pull out. And, yeah. and they just pulled their mafia out. They left a load of people behind. They think there was 40,000 people. They just 40, pulled 000. their dick out. They didn't even do nothing. They didn't plan. The <laughs> on the way out, man. Gone. <laughs> just like, thanks very much. <laughs> See ya. And yep. I was like, Jesus. They left 40,000 yeah. estimated people behind them, according to one thing. Oh, yeah, oh, of course. Like, that's a lot of people. And, and anyone that worked with America, the Taliban are, are going around knocking house to house, trying to find these motherfuckers. Like, uh, oh, yeah. Like, uh, They're going to like public execute ma- them <laughs> like fools. Yeah, like what's his name? Uh, oh, Moses? Christoph Waltz in in fucking Inglorious Bastards going around going. Oh like, yeah. Uh, so you have the <laughs> people who's uh, working with the Americans under the floorboards, maybe like that's the shit that's happening yeah. now. They're going hell around, yeah. I'm pulling them on the street and just going bang bang like they did in Vietnam yeah. in the sixties. Yeah, right? it's no big and, deal. Uh, There's just dead bodies all over the floor. You know, crazy. people walking around. You know, crazy, crazy, brutal, fucking. You know. Uh, uh, just uh, mayhem inhuman, inhuman yeah, yeah. caveman shit like you're like right. why the fuck for an ideology like what's going on but these lads are laying down the law they're laying down the rules the sharia and, law but yeah and burning and then, the poppy fields is probably like removing the temptation to go back but I think America running that heroin game probably became not not profitable yeah uh, over the last well, where, years, uh, do you think time, so. maybe they're thinking about getting it from somewhere else because Oxycontin's got to keep coming baby yeah, they got to get that Oxycontin you can, going you can, somewhere. Can, or is it synthetic? You can, you can synthetically create Oxycontin, yeah. So, I mean, mm. maybe they've come, they've they've reached they've reached peak science where they're able to... Um, yeah, maybe they got to figure it out. It instead. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of people are not taking heroin that they're all just on the Oxy and they don't need, like, heroin. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, but sure, look, this is all real speculation, like, based on very, very little geopolitical information from me anyway. But yeah. it's just, like... These are the things some of the people I watch have been saying, and I'm just kind of repeating them with right. an air of authority. Like, I know, but I don't really know, and I can't say that I know. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it, these are, like, just speculations. It's, it's you know? speculation of what we think is going on. Yeah. So, have you seen that video where, remember when that big-ass plane was going by, and they were sitting, there was, like, Taliban sitting on, like, the side of the wheels, and they're running by, waving, and all that stuff, and did you see that video? I don't think that was Taliban. Was that not? Uh, well, I'm sorry, not people Taliban. People who were trying to people, escape yeah, on that I'm plane. sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get that one yeah, right. Yeah, they, they were all on the landing gear and stuff. Okay, and the plane, check this out, The dude. planes took off. Check this out. I, I, Did I you saw s- that it might have been a fake plane. Dude, I was like, my friend told me, he's like, look, this plane's fake. Oh, like, yeah, fucking right. That's stupid. And then he showed me the video. And if you look at it in a certain angle, the when you look at the, the top, the cockpit, it looks like a fucking balloon, dude. It looks like it's yeah. painted. And I was I like, say, what? I could say I looked at the debunk and stuff as that as well, right? And did so, you see there was no jet engines in the... I, I was like, what do you mean there's no engines? It's right there. And then I looked in there. It's just like a black hole. And then, So there is a version I play in the 1109, I think it is. Mm-hmm. This is from just from memory, right? Yeah. The 1109 and, the, and the, um, the video of it going by because of what's called motion blur, which is um, the natural movement on the camera uh, with relation to the frame rate, the shutter yeah. speed. Uh, as it was recorded so it was recorded from a mobile phone so the the, the frame rate was probably uh like 24 up as far as 60 but the shutter yeah. speed because the sun was so bright it was probably up crazy high which means that the motion blur tends to be a little jagged it's not exactly 
it's a, like, t -t 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 like staccato and right mm -hmm. so when you take a one frame out of it let's say you get the clearest frame mm -hmm. they couldn't see the there was a petrol tank there was like a little door there was a couple of things underneath where the numbers are underneath the cockpit mm -hmm. that were not visible and people said hey that's not a plane because it doesn't have those yokes mm -hmm. uh, there were kind of blurred lines where those things should be and the camera wasn't good enough quality i think to see it right but the yeah. clincher for me that it was a wasn't a balloon they showed these videos of like rommel's forces in uh, northern africa mm -hmm. uh, put in like a fake a fake attack with like blow up tanks and blow up yeah tanks. they used to do that in world war ii there's a video of the lads like tip one lad tipping over a tank because it was right the balloons yeah i've seen that so that's not a very big balloon let's say that's not a very big inflatable that tank mm -hmm. it also has many different parts so like the the, the chassis part with the with the tank with the tank tracks would be one part and that'll be sealed off and then the main body will be another part and then the the tank turret will be another part whereas this plane was a big ass balloon like a big round massive balloon and in order to get the psi to be high enough to keep that pumped to flatten up it out that's what i was out, wondering to make too. sure that it was fully full yeah, yeah there was also people on it so like the surface tension of a balloon that big and that wide with that mm -hmm. much air in it, the PSI would be fucking crazy. It'd need like right. a bunch no, of I know generators pumping air out the whole time. Yeah. Because they were it just looks so bizarre, no dude. And there was no, yeah. yeah. I don't it looked think it bizarre balloon, as fuck. What's more bizarre, and I think what, this is what happens with conspiracy theorists though, man, mm -hmm. is that you get fascinated with one little thing. So they were like, oh, that plane. And the guy was looking down the camera. And then the number, 1109, is 911. They're telling us something. And <laughs> yeah. then it's a balloon, and they yeah. did that with Rommel's troops, and the blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And what they're not looking at is the actual real facts or the historical significance of the Taliban taking over Afghanistan. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, I'm not that. I'm not There's that. Way more real conspiracy yeah. theories. I, I was just saying this. that I saw something that looked, cr it looked fake, mm -hmm. but I'm not saying, yes, it was fake. You know, I was just saying, damn, that one picture I saw looked weird as hell. But what I agree I'm with you. What I'm saying is that there's a lot of people on the internet. Yeah. They will and, go, and that and that makes that makes the headline the conspiracy headline is right. It kind of kind of takes away as a balloon. Yeah, it yeah, takes it kind of takes real away life shit. Right, yeah, like just sure. real shit going on there. That's a conspiracy. Yeah. It's not a conspiracy theory. It's an actual genuine conspiracy. Right. Why did the fucking American military, when they had months and months to do this, they did they nothing? Knew this shit was going. Trump signed that shit like last August or September. They've had nearly a year. And they just to extricate all their forces, and they just bounce and they leave. I think. 6,000 U.S. citizens and another yeah. 34,000 U.S., like, uh, I don't know, accomplices, people from other countries and from Afghanistan, people who'd worked with the American government all the way for the last 20 years, just left them with their fucking arses hanging out. Did you see the, the Secretary of Defense? He's like, he's like, uh, I don't think we can go get those people. I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? We have the strongest military in the entire world. We could easily send troops over there. Wipe out the Taliban, go into the cities, take everyone, get them out. If it was a real operation, they could do that easily. But it's not it's not wiping out the Taliban. If they could do that, they would have done it over the 20 years. Right, yeah. <laughs> I don't think they can wipe out the Taliban. That's the thing. Well, they, well, they could have at least... It's not just a bunch of people. It's not just yeah. a bunch of people. It's not I know, it's, it's like, like decentralized. Yeah, it's, it's all like trying it's to kill chaos. the IRA or trying to kill ETA in, yeah. in Basque in Spain. Yeah. Like, you can't kill it. Like, people will want right. that. Right. They're like roaches. Mm -hmm. you, just, you just kill them and then I mean, they scatter and then they... You know, yeah, you want to be reform. really careful when you say something like that about, about Muslims. <laughs> yeah, man, they're like roaches. <laughs> Smoking a cigarette is like, geez, man, you're lucky you're half Mexican or you'd be... That, the white half is going to get some shit over that, bro. <laughs> what? Muslims? No. They're like roaches, says Elijah. Lizard News Network, everybody. <laughs> you in trouble now, son? <laughs> It's so oh, 2021, fuck. isn't it? This oh, conversation. Shit, dude. Oh my You're in God. trouble, boy. You're in trouble, boy. <laughs> the Taliban did <laughs> murder people. Yeah, uh, they do murder people, <laughs> but you can't dehumanize them by calling them insects. As hilarious as it may be to laugh about, <laughs> yeah, they're no. people too. <laughs> yeah, I love everyone, just not people that murder people for no I mean, reason. Yeah, it's very hard to hug someone when they've chopped off your hands. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. How can you extend but, the hand of peace when you've only got a stump? Yeah. Shake the but, stumps of peace. Yeah. So so they were getting out all the regular citizens, which I'm totally fine with. You know, I, those are actual people that want to get the fuck out because they're going to, you know, yeah. get be killed, you know. But there's bunches of lists of databases of people who worked with the American government. That That's the what pisses like, me well, off. We can't trust you. You're dead. 
As soon as yeah. I find you, you're fucking dead. Yeah. And they're the poor people who are at the airports passing babies over the wall and running. I know. Trying to hold on to the wheels because they're like, I've helped America for the last 20 years. Yeah. They're going to kill they're me fucked. on the list. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And not only that, they left the choppers the, uh, that have databases on them, you know? $80 they left billion, all... dollars, $80 oh billion dollars worth God. of equipment was left behind. With Intel. So if they get a guy that's with smart Intel. enough to fuck with a computer, you know, which I'm sure yeah. they have tech guys. In ISIS or or the Taliban got tech guys, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, and, they were uh, able to fly two planes into the towers twenty years ago, so like, they've yeah. got guys. Yeah, they got guys for Wink. sure. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I I think I think it's more about the weapons. Like, they left a lot of weapons behind. Um, dude, I saw the, a Taliban with an M4, with like yeah. a twenty, like a ten thousand uh, dollar a scope on there. I was like, Jesus Christ, we just handed yeah. them a ton of weapons, you know. But like Obama all over that, again. The Department of Defense said it's a ton of weapons that they may not be able to utilize all of. So all of the rocketry and all of that kind of stuff, that all needs codes and it's all, uh, it can all be remotely decommissioned. Uh, they can drive the Humvees, but they can't drive the tanks. They can't fly the planes. They can't fly the helicopters. Really? Because it's all kind of locked up. And I'm like, mm, okay. They also don't have the train. And I'm like, mm, okay. That's what you would say. Right. But to like, not scare the happen? shit out of everyone. You can't kind of deny when there's a bunch of Taliban dudes that are flying around in Blackhawks in about four months' time after they've done their training. For real. Like, if they do that shit, it's not like the Amish took over and they're like, oh, no, English, we don't fly the Blackhawk <laughs> helicopters. Like, no, they want to figure that shit they out. They will you know? figure that shit out, bro. Yeah. And um, and of any amount of guns and ammunition and all that stuff, and she can get bullets at Kmart or oh, Walmart dude. or whatever. Um, M4s, those lads dude. have... The, those those aren't, will have the finest of what they have the finest. Yeah, those are no videos. joke. What, those are no joke uh, assault rifles, dude. You and know what's madder, Elijah? What's madder? What's crazier? Mm-hmm. Is the motherfucking Taliban are on TikTok, son? Oh, Taliban sh- on TikTok going. <laughs> Ah, Bismillah, check out all the new guns. It's fucking Christmas. Although we don't uh, celebrate Christmas, let's say Eid Mubarak. Free guns, Eid Mubarak for everyone. Like, are you doing, serious, like, dude? Yeah, yeah. He's just like scanning across a shelf with like two thousand guns on it, going. Damn. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 no. Like you're like, what the <laughs> fuck? These yeah. guys are hilarious. <laughs> Did you see the ones where they're working out? Like in the presidential yeah, gym? Yeah, doing all he's going backwards <laughs> like, hey. on the fucking elliptical. She's the one where yeah. they're having a disco and they have the guns and they're all like pointing the guns like yeah, this. Yeah, man. Like they're stabbing. <laughs> like those lads are the fucking happiest cons so crazy, in the world dude. right now. In I the know. World. Yeah, it's I like know, man. I think that's it why is, that lady was like, These guys seem pretty nice, but uh they'll kill you, you know, if you don't agree with them. My uh, my maybe... conspiracy spidey sense is tingling, Elijah, because you know what, right? How can a month before the 20th anniversary of 9-11, the motherfucking Jesus. Taliban take over Afghanistan again? And it feels like some kind of weird deja vu. Oh, man. That is like crazy. That it's like, you know, like of all the times, of all the timings, at the same time, hold on. <coughs> excuse me. At the same time, the American <laughs> government has classified, coming up to 9-11, classified conspiracy theorists. And yes insurrectionists and all of these people are talking online. Yeah. They're, they're, they're actively monitoring these people talking online, calling us all uh, Bizarre, domestic dude. terrorists, getting ready for an, a, an attack, a, 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 a 9-11 anniversary attack against America and yeah, possibly, you know, assassination attempts of high, high level officials. Um, I didn't read into it much now, so don't, I don't, don't grill me. There's a few dudes that had trucks in Washington, DC parked in front of buildings. Yeah. One guy. And he was like a red yeah, well, he, like, I'm about to caught, blow this place up. Uh, I want to yeah. get Joe Biden on the phone right now. It was only you one know? guy that got caught. Yeah. Apparently he says there's like 15 other trucks over the next couple of weeks going to park up at all these buildings and they're going to fucking Oklahoma City, this motherfucker. Like, uh, do you think he, that's he, real or, or I, psyop? I mean, or Jesus, what do you have think to, it is? Yeah, you have to take everything at face value. But at the same time, like pinches of salt are uh, few and far between these days because everything is yeah. such a fucking alarm. Like those lads on the January 6th, I think, was a massively overblown. Dude, are you, you know, there was like an old lady walking around, yay, like waving a flag, and that bitch is in yeah. solitary confinement. Dude, I don't know what the hell they're doing, man. I know I know one one woman got shot, and that's terrible, but at the same oh, time, dude. Yeah. like uh, uh, Alexandria Ashley Cortez, Babbitt. 
coming on the news saying like I I was I was in fear for yeah. my life. I was quaking. I was like, bitch, <laughs> you weren't even in the same building. You were in a different know. building. Yep. Like they were caught. I heard them outside my door calling my name. I felt they were going to rape me and then murder me. And I was like, no, they were out for memes, <laughs> you stupid cunt. Get back in your box. Stop trying to make a fucking drama out of it. Everyone's yeah. believing what you're saying. Yeah, I know. Really? That's the problem, man. They're saying that shit on the news and people are like accepting it. Like because fucking they weren't Gustavo. There. Yep. Right now, right now, the way America works is if you don't see it with your own eyes, then you probably shouldn't believe it. And even if you do see yeah. it with your own eyes, you still should ask questions. Like it's kind of. Yeah. It's a fucked up 1984 yeah, George Orwell sure. type of, you know, you can't believe everything you see or hear at all yeah. anymore. And uh, that January 6th thing, they're talking about it being as bad as 9-11. And I'm like, I know, um, dude. Have you ever seen the videos of 9-11? There's people <laughs> fucking jumping out of the building, jumping out of yeah, the building because they don't want to burn alive. Like, yeah. uh, uh, there's a video, there's a video online uh, now that's come out from a different angle and I guess they were saving it for the 20th anniversary where it's no real way. close and they can see all the people there's someone with a phone in the building across the street looking what? at all the people coming out but just you can hear the fire and you hear this <laughs> like these whoa ha hammering sounds like like yeah like hammering sounds uh -huh. of motherfuckers biting the ground what? from like from like you know, 60, 70 stories up, like, you know, and it's a noise that, Whoa. You, you can't, I can't even replicate, yeah. like, it's so fucking disturbing. It's like ingrained in your brain, right? It's like a, with, with like, a, like breaking the sound of wind and it hitting the fucking ground. Like, like yeah. it's far enough up above to reach like terminal velocity, which is like 230 right. kilometers, something like that right. for, for an average human body's weight. And just, Fuck. like, hitting the ground, man, and it, it haunts you. The sound haunts yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they're saying like some fucking fat cunt climbing climbing the wall at the Capitol building, and then walking around in between the fucking red ropes, right? Like, a, like right. an elementary school day trip. Yeah. Uh, going like, oh, look at all this stuff, and then like picking yeah. up a podium and walking out with it, being like, haha, isn't this a hilarious meme? Right. That's as bad as nine eleven. No, it's not. I know. It's but why? Not. But why are they saying that these? The post, because, supposedly the smartest fucking politicians, the Democrat, they're pushing a, a, a thing to like uh, arrest these people and investigate them and lock them up. They're saying it's the most worst shit in the world. They know that can't yeah. be true. They know yeah. that's not well, fucking true. I, I, so why I, are they doing my, it? You listen to my show, as you know, the crack. I try to put everything into context through a historical yeah. lens, right? For sure. Look at what happened in Stalinist Russia. I know a lot about it. I read the books. So Sta Stalin got paro, got paranoid, and he yep. started getting rid of people. He started Dude. fucking having having lads painted out of photographs. Damn, I didn't Photoshop. think about that. Yeah. So anyone that wronged him, gone. Anyone that fucked him up, gone. Good like luck. look what's happening. Look what's happening to Cuomo now. He, he he you know he felt up a few arses and he's gone and no one's ever going to talk about that cunt again. He is going to be Stalin painted right. out of a photograph kind of shit because they don't want Gavin Newsom. Recall election, gone. Like all of these lads that don't fit, gone, right? Yeah. Um, They're also reigniting the undercurrent of war, going, remember when, you know, everyone felt great about going to war because 9-11 was a big, massive thing. Yeah. And right. we were all Patriots. like totally on board. The yeah, whole yeah. of America was like, let's get yeah, those get the bastards. Yeah. And, and all these lads signed up for the army and it was all this. Oh, thing. yeah. And it dude, lifted millions. the whole economy. Yeah. So many people got jobs and they were all getting Dodge Chargers. Yeah, it was like World War Two. It was like, fuck yeah, yeah we're going to get together and beat these the damn Taliban. Yeah. yeah. George Bush is like, mission accomplished, everybody. <laughs> well done. <laughs> well, on the boat like this. Well done, everyone. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and it was mission accomplished in 2005, end of 2005. Mm -hmm. And then we stayed there for another 16 years because mm -hmm. mission accomplished or something. Right. Yeah. <laughs> And now they're back. Taliban are taking over Afghanistan. I know the I know the ninety like there's like a re, <laughs> a research like on early two thousands culture like to have bands yeah. coming back like yeah it's like a remaster like a re uh, <laughs> we just, yeah it's like let's yeah. do that with with military memories as well like what was the soundtrack of the time like <laughs> they just see fucking the, la the, la the Taliban lads chopping off people's hands to I'm just a teenage <laughs> dirtbag. <laughs> <laughs> slicing hands yeah, off 2001 and shit, right? songs and shit yeah. yeah remember remember the 2000s they were funny yeah. right and uh, yeah and they're just trying to evoke all of this kind of propaganda-ish information 
all of the re- rekindle all of these scenes in the in the mm-hmm. in the memories of people who are looking at this stuff who are our age now. I don't know what they, what age are you? You're in your late. I'm 20s? 35 today. 35, Jesus, man, you, that, that Mexican side is keeping you young. Uh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> today is your birthday, did you today, say? Today, yeah. Fuck off, man. Happy birthday. Yeah, why, thanks, why are you listening man. to me talking shit for two hours? <laughs> because, been, man, I took the day off so I can talk your, to you, bro. You should be having a steak and your dick sucked, man. What the fuck are you talking about? Happy birthday. What are you talking to me for? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Cause, man, I feel uh, more privileged now. Thanks so much. Yeah, it's like a fucking birthday present, bro. You yeah, stuck to we Gordo. could have done this. Yeah, we could have done this tomorrow. Holy shit. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so like, so like, uh, invoking all of this kind of stuff, and to my mind, I'm watching all these things. You know, yeah, going like death by a thousand cuts. I try to predict right. losing history as a marker. Right. Stalinist Russia. Get Everyone is a people. suspect. Anyone that, yes. that that goes against the parties. Lock them wishes, up. They are the enemy. Gulag. Yeah. Gulag. And then also at the same time, at the same time. Not only that, look, if you talk to that person, they're going to go to the gulag. And your mother will go to the gulag. Everybody and, associates us on right. Korea shit, right? Yeah, yeah. That I'm, I'm researching for an episode on the Chinese Cultural Revolution. And what yes. they did was they took the youth, they indoctrinated the youth to tell them that everything that was old is bad. Mm-hmm. Anything from the old part of culture. Yeah, it's no longer useful. Get rid of it. We need to look towards the future, not just get rid of it, but hate it, vilify yeah. it, right? Demonize you have it. To, you have to, right? You have to, to hate a... it to properly yeah. delete it, right? Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, what's happening in America now? Everything that America has ever done, the War of Independence, the, all the the founding fathers, Hating. all of the the conquests that we did, uh, 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 that we do. You hear me? Like I'm American, but like. <laughs> The conquests that the Americans did all over the world for all peace evil. and freedom and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. It's all being rewritten like some Orwell right. dystopia yeah. where it was like, well, it wasn't a conquest. It was a, an invasion. It was a, a genocide. It was a war crime. Like, you know, Korea, yeah, Korean yeah, yeah, war, yeah. Vietnam, the first Iraq war, you know, Kosovo and, and the Balkans and the, the second uh, 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 Iraq war, Afghanistan, we're, you know, Crimea, all of the Ukraine, mm-hmm. like all of these things of all evil. Are, are all now. Yeah. Being America re-written. is now evil. Yeah. America's evil. White people are evil. Straight right. people are evil. Yes. Rich people are evil. Everything that America was built on, everything that America could be proud of. Get rid of it. Is now the enemy. Get yep. rid of it and replace it with what? Uh, that at the same the time opposite. as. That's freaky, as, At the same time as vilifying, calling the people who question this narrative or question this motive, question this mode of operation this this plan of propaganda if you're questioning that and going yeah hey, this is not right man you are then legally and and in the eyes of the media and the eyes of the law and the terrorist. fbi and the fbi did, did you see that terrorist. yeah did you see uh it was on cnn or, or msnbc they put up a list of new um you know it said like if you question the election that's basically like you're in the same book as a terrorist yeah or yeah. you know i was like what the fuck if this you you the, know this will be this is the end of our democracy you know the news right the yeah yeah it's like you know it's like to our democracy and right like, it's like hitler that's dude. what that's what fucking hitler was doing that's what stalin yeah. was doing yeah you but by, by not c- capitulating to the party's <laughs> needs and wants you are yeah. an enemy of our country and you need to be disappeared and the yes. amount of people in russia that went against the grain like liter literature uh entertainment playwrights um poets gulag uh, archipelago journalists dude. yeah like all of that stuff all these motherfuckers all got the chop they got oh, hell yeah. arrested they got you know, vilified. Some of them had to go to different countries, had to escape mm-hmm. Russia, because the shit they were writing about the criticisms of the system. Oh yeah, that turned them into enemies of the state. So if you can't even like, in a, in a work of literary fiction or a podcast or a YouTube channel, if you're not allowed yeah. to criticize the fucking uh, right, if your government is stopping you from criticizing it. That's I think you might. That's I think the you worst. Might live in a fucking in a ty- in a tyrannical regime like that's it's getting there, dude. It's getting there. I uh, fifty more years, man. Be, I might 50. be a slave in 50 more 50. years. 50. 50. <laughs> try, try eight. No joking. Yeah. Try yeah, eight. Yeah, no, I know. Like, it's it's coming fast, dude. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, I'm so interested to see what the fuck Trump does. I'm so, I cannot wait to see if he runs. Just to see if chaos ensues again. Like, he what starts, the he fuck's going to happen, he dude? He started swearing in his speeches, which I think is hilarious. He yeah. says shit a lot. Yeah. Man. 
Yeah. Look at this shit. And he says it's so <laughs> funny. The crowd goes he really crazy, goes hard right? on the tea. Yeah. <laughs> Look at yeah. the shit. Yeah. Joe Biden has brought to the White House. It's total bullshit. And he really hits that tea super right. hard. I'm like, oh, Donald. We might hear <laughs> our first presidential swear in 2024. Where we're just oh, like, man. <laughs> Dude. I pledge to uphold this office and all the bullshit. <laughs> like the yeah. Oh, um, that'd be great, man. I'd be looking forward to seeing what anybody does after this Biden Harris thing. Like the next election, dude. The next election could end up being like a pitch battle in the street civil war job. It was pretty bad this time, and I think I everyone's kind of forgotten about it because of Corona. Yeah. Um, they're gonna ramp it back up. They're gonna ramp up the BLM again. They're gonna ramp up Antifa again. They're gonna, you know, school shootings, more more mass shootings, right? But like November 2019 was when all this shit happened. And I don't know, like to be honest, I think 2020 was like the time when everybody was just kind of locked in the cupboard under the stairs, and mm -hmm. we've forgotten everything that happened before. Yeah, like goldfish, like literally, like three months before everyone was locked up. Yeah, for Corona. There was people like banging on the windows of where they were counting all the ballots because they knew that they were fucking up. There was right. videos coming out saying like, "Oh yeah, dude. look, look Tons at what, look them. at what these lads are doing. They're pulling out ballots out of suitcases that were left there early in the morning. Like they're all fake ballots." And yeah, like, man, so much, so massive much. freaking luggage carriage yeah. luggage is pulling them out, slamming them on the table. Oh, yeah. everyone's gone. Bust out the suitcases, you know. So so much information, so much conspiracy fodder, so many security camera videos, so many, mm -hmm. you know, uh, eyewitnesses and first time witnesses coming out saying, "Yeah, I was there when they were saying this and saying that," and don't believe this and don't believe that, and audits were happening and shit was going on in Arizona and Michigan and all this kind of stuff. And mm -hmm. then the Corona came and just swiped, uh, swept it all away. It was a perfect cover, dude. It was a perfect I mean, crime. Look how fucking high pitched all that shit was. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be coming again in like I know. a I, couple of years. Dude. There's a midterm election next year. They're, they're going to do fucking part two. I mean, and we're in terrorist country at the moment and we're like, technically we're, we're, we're questioning the narrative, so we're right up there. You're on. You're I'm a chair. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm fucked. I'm fucked now, dude. With, with yeah. it. Yeah. Fucking FBI is at the door. Yeah. Oh, hello. Yeah, yeah, dude. I I Imagine if you I got, got swatted right now. Holy shit, dude. Um, one of my videos got taken off of YouTube already. Because I talked to this guy named uh, Mitchell Gerber. Oh yeah. And, uh, have you ever heard of that guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I talked to Of Mitchell course Gerber. that's going to get taken down, you mental. How did you not expect that to get taken down? It was like instantly, dude. I was like, Yeah, of course, because his name fuck? is on a fucking, his name is on a fucking pain on mind list. Terrorist, <laughs> the terrorist list or something. Yeah. Dude, it was bizarre, man. Like, and Cause he was, because he's, but because he's a fucking, he's an expose journalist. Like, he's like, he, a, he's a guy who's fucking calling, calling people out in the government. Like, yeah, I do. Like, and, but see, the, the bizarre thing was, I wasn't sure, because there were two main topics we talked about. We talked about the Falun Gong in China that were yeah. uh, organ harvesting. Yeah, and the, then the, uh, Uyghur Muslims and all that stuff. Yes, Falun Gong, yeah. It was that, because that's like his main subject. Like, that's yeah, he knows, shit, he he knows tried. a ferocious amount of it. Yeah, yeah, he does. So I was talking to him about that and the vaccines. Right. And that video got taken off. Let's say vaccines is probably the thing that got you dinged, because you can't say nothing about vaccines. Even the word vaccines, when you run it through YouTube, It'll yeah. um it'll hit the it'll hit the transcription and they'll see the word vaccine and they look and say conspiracy vaccine Dude, bang you're gone. Like, that's what I was thinking. Like yeah. they they have to be transcribing our videos, right? Oh no, the hundred percent right? are like that's for sure. It has to be hundred percent, right? Yeah, hundred percent. They have to train. That's all. I was like, how could they? How could a computer know? So they probably. I was like, damn, they're probably transcribing the videos word for word, hundred percent. And yeah. then they have a machine that says, oh nope, you can't use that word. You can't use that word in the same sentence. You're gone. You know, or even the even like your your show would be labeled as conspiracy in the tags, and then right. they see vaccine and conspiracy together, and it's like, bop. So yeah. just guys like uh, you know Luke Rudowski from We Are Change, when he talks right. about vaccines, he calls it that they have like little code words and stuff, so that the right. YouTube algorithm doesn't pick you up. So they're like, you know, the, instead of saying like the virus or the injection, they're, they're saying like, you know, uh, or the needle, like all of these things. Right. They, they'll right. call it. They'll call it something, some other funny kind of, yeah, um, term. To yeah. get around that, but it is yeah. very, uh, but very I was strictly controlled. Yeah, now. I was very, I was very uh, curious. Of I wonder if it was a Chinese thing 
like does china run youtube or is there like because you know how china is man like if you say anything about taiwan they'll cut you off they'll they'll you know they won't say nothing i mean china pretty much owns hollywood they're buying up land in america yeah. you know so they're i was like man i wonder if now, yeah. i wonder if that was the thing they did it you know but it, it was probably the vaccine but it, i was very uh curious about that one well you can't say nothing about that shit on Reddit and Reddit's owned by Chinese interest. You can't say nothing about that on TikTok. Oh, yeah. TikTok is owned by China. It might even be Damn. like a Chinese, uh, you know, malware or some spyware that, that mm-hmm. you put. It gives you like little 60 second entertainment videos of girls with their ditties flapping and you're just like, cool, <laughs> ditties. But having it on your phone, the permissions allow them to fucking see everything you've ever looked at ever. Yeah. For and sure. I don't know how, how long you spend on TikTok, but my algorithm is absolutely tuned to the darkest, deepest parts of Damn the it, boy. of my fucking personality. Like it shows me <laughs> videos and I'm just like, oh, how did you know? <laughs> not even I am willing to admit that to myself and you're showing me a video about it. How did you know? Like yeah. it's fucking, it's surreal, it, right? Yeah. And it also oh, what's oh. crazy is, is um, uh, Spotify left the video on there or it, it left the audio on there. But YouTube took it down of the same. Oh, yeah, Spotify interview. don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. Spotify yeah. don't have those kind of checks. Like, yeah, it's not just too much audio to be going on Spotify to have that kind of check. But because Google, it's all about the CDN, right? It's the content delivery network. So Google have its mm. own content delivery network. So when you upload to Google or to anything Google, like um, Google Drive or YouTube or whatever, mm-hmm. you try and upload, say, a pirated movie to Google Drive, it automatically recognizes it and goes, "This is pirated material." Fuck off and clicks mm-hmm. it off. Because yeah. they don't want to, they don't want the heat. The same with Facebook, the same with Twitter, same with yeah. Instagram. If there's any copyrighted material, they have automated services to be able to read the pixels and and see the. It's like um, a visual version of like Shazam, where they're able yeah. to like take a few frames and match that off a database, and if the colors and the space and all match, but it's right. all AI shit, man. And they have the man technology, right? Yeah. So like when you're uploading to Google what it's doing is it's scanning everything and reconstituting it into a different codec so that it can be delivered where the first like minute and a half can be super Jesus. compressed but still good quality yeah so when you click on the video boom, it loads up straight away and then the next bit you're watching loads up a little bit slower but in a slightly different format so they're delivering it to you directly so they know exactly where it's coming from mm-hmm. they're also um copyright wise like or dm dmca uh laws wise they are responsible if somebody comes and says, well, there's somebody has the copyrighted material and they're making money off it. So they won't come and sue the person that made, that put up the copyrighted material. Let's sue Google. And Google right. don't want to foot the bill for that. Well, that's the right. story anyway. Really, it's say. the same as what they were doing in the music industry where people have these little chord progressions or they have these like a copyright yeah. over a certain melody. Yeah. And whoever uses that melody, like Marvin Gaye is suing fucking Ed Sheeran for like a chord right. progression. For like, yeah, three, yeah, it's like a, a three, four, five chord progression. I came up with yeah. that, you bastard, you yeah. know. And and Marvin Gaye's family estate, they're just fucking in in litigation with loads of musicians. That's for using so that crazy, dude. Because that's all they're making money off of because fucking Marvin Gaye got shot in the head or whatever, right? Uh, there's yeah. nobody to make the bread, so they're just like, let's just sue the bollocks off everyone. Right. Mm-hmm. So Google have that thing where they're just, they're overly sensitive. Facebook the same. They're just overly sensitive about material. Mm-hmm. But when you're uploading it, when it says like processing, what it's yeah, processing yeah. is that. It's you're transcribing random, your shit. Yeah. Random chunks of frames. Yeah. It's the same as Google, Google translator. When you type in, Hey Siri or whatever, mm-hmm. uh, and you just start talking, it's fucking transcribing your stuff. So it just does that, checks out little groups of words, checks for stuff like vaccine or, you know, pedophile or Epstein yeah. or Clinton or all of these buzzwords. And then they mm-hmm. just go bang, 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 red, red, red. No monetization, no this, no yeah. that. In the guise of we have to make this friendly for children because children might click on this so we can't have this material here. Yeah, right. I've That's seen this shit so that you have on crazy, for kids. Dude. Where fucking yeah. Spider Man is jizzing on Elsa's face <laughs> and shit like that. I saw that shit. YouTube. I haven't seen that, dude. I heard you about that, those, right? All these like all some kind of they got like some kind of algorithm and like put all the the most watched videos. In one. Bro, don't even want to. It's called Elsa Gate. You don't even want to go down. Elsa Gate. Oh Elsa-gate. my god. Bro, don't look Are it up you on serious? your birthday, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh yeah. shit. It's fucking rough. Where they have like uh, you know channels of dudes who was like Elsa's asleep on the couch. And then Spider Man comes over and he's all like <laughs> creeps over and he's like Shh, like some fucking Benny Hill thing. And then he goes like 
and it oh. looks like spider webs or whatever but it's obviously very much him coming on oh. Elsa's sleeping face <laughs> is this a cartoon she's like no it's real like action stuff what? there's cartoon ones as well where they chop them up and it's what all fucking the fuck? yeah 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 they get like peppa pig in and peppa pig goes into a party and there's like older pigs that are kind of like doing drugs and kind of like, and peppa comes Dude. in and then they, fucking, <laughs> they rape peppa and they cut her up into bits and then they're no yeah way. like in a cartoon and it shows up in youtube kids by actually Dude, i was just, about to say that 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 probably like beats the algorithm it beats right? the algorithm because that's peppa pig but and, and it looks normal but like oh the, my the, god the content of it is very suspicious <laughs> And and yeah, I was looking at Bells Gate years ago. Like uh, uh, I did it for a couple of different live shows, and I did an episode on it um, there thereabouts. It'll be talked about on the Pizza Gate episode for this show as well, for this season. Yeah. Like we're doing it in a, oh, uh, nice. in a month or two. But Hell like, yeah. it, it, it's such an insidious way of going on. YouTube has and Google has and Alphabet mm-hmm. has. But you ask, like, do you think China are part of it? Like China are part of everything. Alphabet is right. the 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 the. the um, overacting like mother corporation for google and a whole bunch of <laughs> others like obviously there's something to do with it obviously just take in there but i don't think they're removing um people talking about Uyghur muslims or falun yeah. gong organ mm-hmm. harvesting and shit like that i think that's just like i think it was i could test thing it that got, probably i could test it right i could make a video like well, full on about the falun gong and see if it gets banned it out, bro Right, I like. I'd love to make a full on like just Falun Gong here in Dublin that we're talking about that shit. Really, we're going like we had to escape because we're fucking chopping us up, bro. Damn. They were coming, and I I was talking to him on the street, and he was like, no "Yeah, shit. man, we'd all be we'd all be inside meditating, and there'd be agents that come in and they tap two people on the shoulder and go, we want to in- interrogate you for something, something, something.' In and China, you never see those in China, and you never see those motherfuckers again. And that's it. And I'm like, for real? And he's like, Yeah, yeah. So we had to leave, and they were able to take us out because. Uh, whatever way the religion was um i guess whatever way it was classified under the chinese law like it was illegal to practice yeah the, the yeah they made it practice. illegal like, yeah. yeah mitchell gerber tell you a lot more obviously oh yeah expert, man but, he went hard on me dude yeah but this is this yeah. is this is my this this is just like a little bit of general knowledge about it for me yeah um but yeah like that's that's all it, it, it frust- just, it frustrates all it takes because... is for the american government to go this subsection of yeah the population are undesirables right we are, uh, a basket we're of terrorists now. we are yes. terrorists now and yep. it, it's a very short hop between right they're undesirables to we actively don't desire them to why are they still here damn like it's it's 1933 oh, shit. it's 1933 uh you know uh, Adolf Hitler is working for the German government and he was sent on a mission to investigate the German Workers' Party. Yeah. And when he got there, the lads were talking in the beer halls, kind of resonated with him and his love for Germany after uh, serving in World War One and being defeated and kind of feeling a little bit hard done by. And he ends up joining this German yeah. Workers' Party undercover to begin with, but then he starts to believe it and he eventually takes it over. And one of the first things he does is like, these are all the people, these are the people yeah, that keep the Germany fault. down. Mm-hmm. The Jews, yep. the gypsies, the yeah. handicapped, like all of these right. subsets, yeah. subsections of people mm-hmm. going, these are keeping us from succeeding. And right. not only did he purport that like as a as a theory for the German Workers' Party, but he put it out to the general public to go, have you got a hard life? Is, is thing, are things shit for you? It's because of these people. Yep. And here's how, here's why and how. And all those people are like, it is shit for me. I want to blame somebody. Yep. fucking jews let's go <laughs> yeah. come on let's do it and they just started doing it bro i know like, you know you're in texas man oh anyone dude that's having anyone that's having a hard time in texas that's white it's probably like dude, god damn it we're coming over here <laughs> god damn wetbacks coming over here taking our jobs selling yeah. oranges on the side of the road i could be selling oranges on the side of the road man making a dollar instead i'm just kidding you know instead rugelio's over here taking my fucking job yeah i'm i'm, I'm just getting my social security money and uh i don't get to sell no oranges and you're like okay bro you know but they want somebody to blame everyone it's an easy yeah. way to be you know yeah uh, to, to, to i mean just re- just downfall. replace jew with trump supporter and we got ourselves so, another fucking theorist. yeah or that too uh, or, or or dare i get you uh, uh you know <laughs> dare i get this video pulled off the unvaccinated oh fuck like well, the it. unvaccinated are becoming a uh 
a, a, a set oh, of yeah. deplorables and yeah, an, an undesirable cohort of society. For sure. We're uh, actually we're getting, killing, we're murderers. We're murdering people, bro. They're getting you know? blamed for uh for I said they. Um they're getting blamed for like the different variants and delta variants yeah. and all this kind of stuff. And mm-hmm. they're saying like if you're like if just everybody just got it, just 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 fucking just 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 everyone just 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 get it just put your hand yeah, up yeah man just get your right hand yeah. and put it up at a 45 degree angle and just say you know like heil hitler once or twice <laughs> and just like so you don't look out of place right and then we can just get on with this thing and the jews right. will go away i mean yeah. sorry the delta variants will go away right and you know we you know it's just i know that's a pretty extreme <laughs> the extreme comparison. comparison um but for dramatic purposes i think it works yeah but um, i mean in the in the same context it's the same playbook uh, you know what i mean it's same the same play language, it's the same play same propaganda yeah yeah and, and that's why i get frustrated because like we we automatically conspiracy theorists get like uh, a bad rap but man we freaking research stuff like a yeah. million times more than normal people i mean y- yeah. you you go hard dude you do six six hour bangers you know you, you know you could you know a lot of shit and um that's, that's six credit hours is distilled from a hundred hours of research. I know, yeah. That's that's just a, six hours of content. I mean, you must mm. go deep, you know. And yeah, you know, that was one of the things I wanted to ask you. I was, imp- I'm impressed by Jesus, man. You must do tons and tons and tons of hours of research, and it makes me mad that people would just, uh, you know, discredit or not discredit, but uh, discount conspiracy theorists. So, uh, quote unquote. But man, we're just like researchers. You know, there we can talk lizard people, but really, like you were saying about Afghanistan, it's not about the blowed up planes. It's about what's really happening in Afghanistan. You know what I mean? Yeah, the geopolitical history. Sure, the fucking right. Taliban in the first place were mm-hmm. a small organization that were armed initially by the U.S. government to fight against the Russian armed Mujahideen yeah. for the same land in the fucking eighties. Do you know what I mean? I know. Like the Taliban wouldn't be around at all. But the Bin Laden family were. They need financed. weapons. The Bin Laden family originally were financed and were able to amass the millions that they have from U.S. government intervention in the seventies. And on nine eleven, and I tell this, I tell this little tidbit of information to people, mm-hmm. and they're like, "Fuck off!" Damn. On nine eleven, on the morning of nine eleven, George Bush Senior and Osama Bin Laden's father were having coffee just down the road oh, from the Twin Towers in New York, <laughs> and more than likely had a full view down the street oh, of the towers it. as they collapsed as the two boys supped coffee right and then the next day they flew him out right and all of his family were flown out when every other plane wasn't allowed to take off in the whole country like jesus christ that's some in your face shit like and people right. don't believe that i people know don't believe that that was the case yeah, um but it was as far as look i, I tell you right conspiracy theorists some some people they get their information online and my my ethos since the start of it was like check your sources right i tell i'm an ethnographer Mm. i'm an ethnographer i like i'm a a cultural anthropologist i like i'm a historian yes sir i'm a i'm a a comedian so all of those things together means that i'm trying to find stuff on the internet that pertains to the information that i want to impart on my show right so i pick a conspiracy theory and i go Here's what some people say about it. Here's what other people say about it. I found this one website that's this mad shit, but you can't really trust that, but it's an right. interesting take. It may not be factually true. Mm-hmm. And then here is an absolute hard fact that's corroborated by a news report and another source and another website. Yeah. And here's a thing that I just found on one website that one person says, but can they be believed? I don't know. And I lay out the efficacy or the legitimacy or the uh, the genuineness. Yeah, of it's, a, each it's piece an of incredible format, Gordo. But just to go like, Here's some information, but mm-hmm. where it's coming from may make it true or not true. Right? Yeah. Yes. So as far as the vaccine goes, and I've said this a few times, as far as the vaccine goes, I'm not a, a medical dude. <laughs> yeah. I don't know nothing about no, I, I know nothing about no science. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nothing about vaccines. I don't know yeah. nothing about medicine. I don't know nothing. And I can look up all this stuff and I have other people in my cohort including yourself of conspiracy theorist people who can look up stuff online and you find yeah. out about ara spike proteins and myelo- yeah. myocardiomyelitis and yeah all yeah. these fucking you know blood clotting and astrazeneca and this yeah. and that and 
Mm-hmm. You know, buy on Z heart and large this and that. Yeah. Your heart and large and brain swelling, yeah. brain, brain <laughs> yeah. blood barrier, fucking baby <laughs> fetus parts and spike proteins and fucking blood pressure and yeah, women yeah. starting to starting yeah. to menstruate when yeah, they're yeah. perimenopause and reactivated ovaries and polycystic ovary syndrome. The shedding and, and shedding yeah. fucking viruses and the Delta variant and the fucking Epsilon variant and the the vaccine yeah, passports plus. and yeah, all the yeah. fucking, you know, like lists as long as your arm of all this medical scientific shit that you can read about, you can yes. synthesize, understand and impart it to your podcast audience. Yeah. Just purely as information, right? Mm-hmm. I'm not a medical expert, but Elijah, what I am is a conspiracy expert. There you go. Hell yeah. Doing this shit 25 years. Hell yeah. And when you look historically at the governments involved, the organizations involved the medical companies the pharmaceutical companies involved and the ties they have to literally direct ties to nazi germany scientists that oh, were extricated yeah. from germany in operation paperclip which is a yes, totally sir. real thing 100 percent real the shit that they've had the lawsuits they've had over the last 40 years well they'll take a piece of their company and annex it away and everybody who's suing it gets to sue that part and then that part goes out of business <laughs> And they go, well, it'll take you three years to sue the rest of the company. Do you want to try yeah. again? And they're like, I'm in stage four of fucking cancer. Like, yeah. <laughs> Looks like you're not going to last three years then, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Like, yeah. really nefarious, shitty, awful practices. Not only that, but during wartime, during the Korean War, even World War One and World War Two, but during the Korean War and during Vietnam War, mm. these companies were involved in making the, I guess, uh, uh, human rights violating uh, medical weapons. The weaponized Absolutely. medical services, the chemicals and all this stuff. Oh, yeah. Like these companies Agent were involved Orange in that and, shit. Yeah. Dropping, dropping chemicals onto onto enemies and civilians because yeah. the enemy oh, yeah. wasn't clear. Collateral damage, man. Yeah, you get all, the hell out of the way. Kind of stuff. Inoculating people in other countries then as part of benevolent systems of, of charity. Yeah. Uh, and ending up like sterilizing people. For real. Blinding people. Giving Handicapped, people fucking, freaking paralyzed. Disa- disabilities. Mm-hmm. Like, all, like all of that stuff. Apart from, and you don't even mention coronavirus, you don't even mention vaccines, yeah. you don't mention nothing. Yeah. You just tell that story of all the companies and what they do, the governments and what they do medically to all the people. Like all the historical, factual, absolutely true right. things without context or without connecting yeah. it to coronavirus or SARS-CoV-2, mm-hmm. COVID-19, any vaccination that's been given out in the last year. Just tell the, that history. Mm-hmm. And that's enough for me to know, I, you know, I'm, I'm, like in like in Dragon's Den or Shark Tank, it's like for that reason, I'm out. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You're <laughs> yeah. pitching that shit to me, and I'm yeah. like, well, I know the historical context. Yeah, I'm gonna hang on. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fucking bang the drum on it. I'm right. not gonna be talking about this all the time on my show because there's no need. There's other people doing a much better job. Right. But when it comes to people asking me about it, I'm not a medical expert. Yeah. I think that's where people are falling down. That's where conspiracy theorists are getting hung mm-hmm. because they're saying if you give out fake medical information. We'll you're cut fucked. you off the internet. Yeah. You give a Period. fake medical internet, you're off you, iTunes, even, even you're off if it's Spotify, not even wrong, YouTube, you know, you could be a damn doctor. That's the rules. You're not to give fake medical information, but yeah, you can absolutely give true historical right. information. That's like a way around it, kind of. It's like not a way around it. It's a way well, it's to, to it directly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like to go back and say, all right, look at all this shit that led up to this. I'm not criticizing the vaccine that's out now. I'm not mm-hmm. criticizing AstraZeneca or blood clotting or any of those other claims that are being made. Yeah. Because I can't verify that shit. I yeah. I have no experience of it personally. And I actually mm-hmm. have no ability, as as a lot of people say, I have no ability to really fully understand and synthesize the information enough to even understand it for myself, never mind to broadcast yeah. it to an audience. Right. But what I do have is the cognitive capacity to look back at the history of those companies and the shit that yeah, they've done. and see the shit they've done. And know that, look at if you were putting your dog into a dog kennel when you were going on holidays and that dog kennel had like 50 reviews on Yelp where the dogs mysteriously die or get fucked up the arse or get chopped up yeah. into bits for medical <laughs> yeah. experiments or something, <laughs> yeah. you're like, I prob- I'm probably not going to take a chance <laughs> yeah. on leaving my dog with those motherfuckers like over the weekend. You know, you'll end up in some kind of weird spicy uh, for sure spicy dude. dish serving yeah or some shit. like i'm not into it <laughs> yeah yeah but it's just like you can't i can say that and will say that and will talk about that whenever asked because yeah. that's totally real and true for, and i'm not going to even Absolutely. link it to vaccines or any kind yeah. of stuff i'm just going to go 
someone goes, what do you think about uh, the vaccines? And I'm going to go, well, I'll tell you about Johnson & Johnson. Right. And and that's, do, and do that's dil- totally... Due diligence. Mm-hmm. Do the due diligence, D-U-E, mm-hmm. not the other one. And you, <laughs> you have to be careful. <laughs> Uh, and just tell that story because the yeah. story of Johnson Johnson, so and the story the figured bi- out the story the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation on its oh, own, dude, it's is, is a fucking roller coaster, bro. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like a movie. It should make a movie. Unbelievable. Yeah, I know. What's your favorite conspiracy? Let's let's for for birthday times because we're, oh, we're you're man. probably wanting to look look at wrapping up in the next few minutes. Eh? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You got to go uh, get your steak and your blowjob. Hell yeah, have to. Yeah, boy. <laughs> What's your favorite conspiracy? Uh, Jeez, dude, I haven't even thought about that, man. I mean, what's I don't the know. thing you love talking about the most? What's the thing you love listening to? Oh, the most? religion. Re- yeah, your religion. Yeah, were God. You, were you born? Re- were you born? Grew up religious. My dad was a Christian pastor, and uh, I was in. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> yeah, yeah. He still preaches, but it's not his full time job. But he does it like on the side, like he has Bible Jesus. studies and stuff. <laughs> Jesus don't pay. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a part-timer yeah yeah but um i love talking about space i love talking about is there a god or not i love talking Let's about is there a god yes tell me why because i cannot explain in any form how the entire universe was started when it was started or when it will end so my only answer is there has to have been something that created it. An alien. No, because something had to have created the alien. It's like, it's like okay, let's say the Big Bang happened at a certain point in time, right? Yeah. What happened 10 billion years before that? That's the thing, you see. There, there wasn't That's, anything before that. Time wasn't there. See that? Okay, so my only rational thought is, okay, the Bible says he was the beginning and the end. There was no, it, it was, he's alpha, the omega. So there was no, there was no uh, beginning for him. It was, it's like a loop. It's, it's yeah. like an eternal, eternal loop or something that I can't explain, but it seems to me that it's eternal, right? I mean, can space ever go away? Do planets ever go away? Or, or, you know what I mean? Like I, when I die, I'll be dead for eternity. My, my flesh and blood will be gone. Um, will be gone. So that to me proves that there is something called eternity. There's something that's real that is actual eternity. And uh, I like to think about that. And I like to think about in a God sense, but also in a scientific way, like what the fuck happened when the first single cell organism created life or what happened before the Big Bang or is the Big Bang even real? I don't know, dude. It it just blows my mind. And and then I try to think about how big space is. Because the next star over, <laughs> then <laughs> when I'm when I'm waiting in the line of the bank, I like to think about how big space is. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> passes the time. People don't think about it much, you know. Like they live. I their think lives. a lot of people think about it a lot, think like so? Brian Cox and shit. Like, yeah, loads of scientists are all like trying to do loads of maths to try and find out how yeah, big space no, is. Yeah. And by the time yeah. they finish the maths, space has got bigger because the universe is expanding, <laughs> and they're like, "Fuck, I know." Start that's again. A- Exactly. That's why I love to think about that stuff. What and I guess God you could call that exp- if huh? God is if God is real, what do you think it is? Like, is it a is it a sentient being? Is it somebody? Is it, or is it just like an energy field or what? Well, is I think God could possibly be be like a human form. But uh, like why we, would, why you wouldn't pick human? It's so restrictive. Why why why, why if God? Well, I'm just going by the Bible. I'm going if by God, what, if, if God, uh, but I'm if, but, uh, come on. But man, I'm going by the Bible. By the the Bible was written by men. Of course, but it don't, it's the only God thing that makes like sense, them. though. Huh? It, it, it's the only thing that makes sense on earth to me. I think, you, I think, you, oh, fucking hell. I think, I think you, <laughs> we can go about 20 long, hours spent, on this one, dude. <laughs> yeah, you spent too long with your dad, man. That's too long, man. No, but my dad is brilliant. Like, think, he, think, he, I, I don't doubt he it. Is. I don't doubt it. No, he, but think about this. Yeah. The Bible was written by men. So when they wanted to say, God made me in his image, what they're really saying is, I'm going to be able to make the story of God. So I'm going to make God look like me. And then when I say I have the word of God here and I found it and everyone's going to look to me because I'm a conduit for God, that God is going to look like me to confuse people into thinking that I might be nearly God. Like, of course, God is going to be looking like a man when men but, wrote but, the Bible. But because like, God, 
But with, uh, if you want to write the story, write the legend. If you want to create a book that's going to be able to be used to control a bunch of people, you want to have them, ha- you know, have a make a small bit of sense. No, but I like, get it. But but what it, what did he have said? Uh, God, we were created in the image of an apple or or, or a turtle. A God actually looks like a turtle. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's the humans. See, did you ever see the image of what a real a, what a real angel would look like according to the description in the Bible? No, it's bizarre. So. So when you think about what an angel looks like, what do you think? What do you? Uh, mm, almost like a a knight or a templar or 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 maybe some like a human form with wings, possibly. You know, I haven't gave that much thought. But I mean, because okay, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you a picture <laughs> now of what what the actual biblical angel is supposed to look like hold on let's find this motherfucker because usually it looks like uh some kind and, of you know it has the body of jake paul or something like that uh, yeah you know yeah. it looks like some magnificent right. human specimen yeah when really oh <laughs> i'm trying to find it here now and really, see the, it, the thing is man like i don't know dude i can't ha- i don't have a better explanation that's the best explanation I can come up with that's metaphysical that I know the smartest person in the world can't – if the smartest person in the world can't tell me for a fact how life started, then I have to turn to, you know, metaphysics, God. Because nothing what, else – What about, what about lads like Richard Dawkins and stuff who says, like, God, God is not real and God doesn't exist? and He means nothing to me. No, why? He he is like uh, it says in the Bible that the the wise prove uh, the uh, what was it um, they profess to be wise but they end up being dumb or something like that. I, I'm okay. I'm explain. I'm uh paraphrasing, but bas- basically that's what it says. Uh, the smartest people in the world are actually pretty stupid. Like I know some people that are insanely smart when it comes to technological things, but they lack common sense. You know. Right. And you could be a you could be a doctor, but that don't mean you know how to build the damn house. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's so, why I say I'm a, I'm a I'm a podcaster and I know nothing about uh, <laughs> no nothing about medicine. <laughs> I'm gonna try and send you this picture here in the in the Zoom chat. Okay, this is this is the closest thing I could get. Hold on, chat. Yeah. Oh shit! Have you seen South Park's depiction of God? I can't remember it now. Check oh, out that picture uh, that I just sent you. Oh, cool. Uh, would you that's like the to literal, save the picture? It's an artist's rendition of the literal description of what an angel is from the scriptures, which is like uh, wings with a bunch of eyeballs on it, and then a floating eye with some like, tentacles. And then I like, want to see it, but I don't. I'm trying to find it. Went to the chat. There's a there's yeah. A, it shows it shows a link. Click to download. Double, double click to open. Yeah. And then it says screenshot. Yeah. But it only gives me the option to save it. Would you like to save this picture in your folder? It's not a dick. Oh, okay. Camera. <laughs> Promise. Okay, I saved it in there, but I cannot zoom out. Oh, shit. I don't want to mess this up. It says, you cannot minimize when you are recording the meeting. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get back. T- t- what does it look like? It looks like a crazy eyeball floating in space with like a bunch of tentacles around it. And, and then that's like, supposed to be an angel? Like a weird monster face that has like giant sharp knife wings with like eyeballs oh. all up and down the sides. But that's like the literal, like the literal out of description of what an angel is from scripture. Yeah. So it's like, well, people think it's okay. all like, look, it's all like in like an Aryan blonde blue eye. <laughs> super but why would... But Dude, if but you like were writing, yeah, like, if you were ah. writing, <laughs> if you were writing the Bible, why would you make an angel look like that? Why would you make God when look you like could, a person? I don't know. But why, but why would, because it's angel, ego, it's a bunch of dudes writing. The Bible was written like 200 years after okay. Jesus he, was he, around. He, here's my dad's, uh, um, here's my dad's. Oh, you'd have so many fights Check. with your dad. Oh, uh, dude, my dad's brilliant. Checks out. Okay, this is his. Uh, oh, damn it, I'm I'm going blank. But uh, he said, okay, the men of the Bible are like a sailboat. It's a metaphor. That's where I was looking for. The men, in, the men in the Bible are uh, a sailboat. God is the sa- is the wind in the sails. 
So when they say that the people wrote the Bible, just men, it was inspired by the Lord and the Holy Spirit that put wind in the sail to invoke them to write the, the words of the Bible. Just to tell the story. Yes. Through the Holy so Spirit. Is the, is the Christian Bible the one the one to be? Like, is that the right book? The one all be all? Yeah. I so would then say so. How come, how come the Torah and the, the Talmud and the Quran are all so very, very similar in their allegories, in their, you know, the, the, I would say, the I know metaphors what you mean. and the, yeah, the yeah. stories that they use. Like the, like the flood and, and yeah. that one died and came back. I would say it's like iPhone makes an iPhone, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone else can make a phone too. It's not the iPhone, but it's a phone. And so you can, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you can make copies. Like I have a guitar here. It's not the very first guitar ever made, but you can make another guitar and make it look like that one or sound like that one, but it's not the same guitar. So, I mean, you could, you could make any kind of story and rip, rip it off. I mean, movies rip each other off all the time, you know? But the Quran was written like thousands of years before the Bible, like 1500 years before. Was it? Yeah. I don't like, think like, so. Like, like okay. Wise, yeah. Okay. I Do you so. believe in God? I, 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 you know what? I've been having a little to and fro with myself about God. You've been having and a what? I always thought a little bit of a to and fro, like. A, oh, okay. Oh, okay. A hither, a hither and yeah, hither. yeah. I was, I was brought up Roman Catholic, quite devout. Mm. I was forced to go to mass as a young child, and listen That's to traumatic. These stories. That's yeah. Traumatic. Yeah. Whoopsh. <laughs> Um, get out of the house and go to mass. And then yeah, I was quizzed yeah. when I came home. When I came home, and what was mass about today? <laughs> Some fella, uh, him and his mates had dinner, and uh, yeah. it was all like, oh, had an accident <laughs> on the building side. I've got holes in my hands. Um, but I, 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 you know, I was thinking about God, you know, mm. and I think about him often, and I think about really? Jesus often. Yeah, yeah, because like something, something, something's going on, you know, all around for sure, and. Uh, I always thought it was very unfair, like, if God was really benevolent and, and loving mm -hmm. and all that stuff, mm -hmm. you know, why does he give kids cancer? Or why are, yeah. you know, why are people dying of coronavirus? Or why is there poor people and rich people? And all? Right. And it's like, you know, man's transgressions and man's sins and that God gave us the gift of free will. And yes. what we do with that free will is the thing that causes the, the terrible suffering. Right. But when you're educated in other different religions, there's like little slices of each one that kind of come together to make like a perfect recipe of peace and harmony and understanding and love. Mm -hmm. Because like built into a Christian God, at least, yeah, are some rules where you're not allowed to be a certain set of ways. Same with the, an, an Islamic Allah or, yeah. do you know, uh, um, whatever fucking God Joseph Smith came up with for the Mormons, <laughs> loads of extra rules. It's like, yeah, yeah. God got real serious there in the 1700s. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just thinking like, there's something beyond this dimension. I'm even trying to... There has to be. There has I'm to changing, be. I'm changing even how I think about aliens. Right. Right. They could be demons so, or they could be interdimensional well, see, from another realm. Thing. I would think that aliens themselves, probably as we've experienced them, and anyone that's been having an abduction, mm -hmm. um, an abduction scenario was probably manufactured by man. It was probably a fake abduction scenario to perpetuate a, an extraterrestrial presence, a lie of a presence of extraterrestrials on the planet, right? Yeah. We're doing an episode, we've done it already, like on up on, on uh, Project Blue Beam, which is the fake yeah. alien invasion. Right. Should be out in that's the next few weeks. That's what it could weeks. be. Badass. And I'm thinking, you know, after doing all the research for that and everything, that's what it could be, man. Along, I'm thinking that aliens pretty much are probably interdimensional. They're in every religion. They have to in, be. In, in if there Christianity, is. In they're called the demons. In, in yeah. Islam, they're called the jinn, which is where we get genie mm -hmm. from. Um, I don't know if you've listened to the Jesus Christ episode of Those Conspiracy Guys. Have you checked that one out? Uh, is it an old one? It's an old enough one, yeah. You want to I go think I have heard one? that one. I think I have heard that one. I'm going to read story was to told, it story was told again and again like jesus uh you know uh, hercules dionysus zarathustra yeah. same dude same 33 things or 25 things that he'd done to become a messiah all through all these thousands of years of separation of all of these things that this guy was like an alien that was able to take on a corporeal form maybe through possession or through some kind of 
mm. um, transmutation into a human 3D form on this dimension. But I think God is like um, the force of the universe that we're yeah. all still attached to. Yes, that we're out I think here. There's... Like, like we tendrils, we're all we're yeah. all like we're all like we're all like you know a, 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 an octopus's strings, and, and, like and God I think is, God, God yeah. is the octopus like floating through. And we're I think all the main one, yeah, I think it's like like you're saying, like it's all strings, but all those strings are tied into everyone's consciousness, yeah, and then it all comes back into one or something. But the thing is, we all forget as we go along, as humans, individuals, that we're still attached to that original thing. Yes. Wirelessly, like our consciousness. Yes. yes. You have a direct only, you have a direct line to God. We're only borrowing this consciousness to put it into this form to walk around with. Yeah. For as long as the body lasts. And then the consciousness charges up like a battery, leaves the, the, the body and goes back up to the, the collective. Right. Well, here's a thought, Gord. Yeah. I've been reading a book or listening to a book on metaphysics and it asks the question. Is consciousness, you can't touch consciousness or it's not a physical thing. So can't is it part in the brain anywhere? Yeah. So it's, is it part of the body? Yeah. Is it a physical, can you locate it or is it something I, else? That's the thing. Like the other way they say the cloud is someone else's computer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I have it all saved in the cloud. You're like, you know, the cloud is just someone else's computer. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So like, I think that's the same with consciousness that the thing that we call God is all the people who have yet to be born and all the people who have died. Right. All of their, all, all the energy and all that stuff is collected all in one spot. And then mm. some active souls, the active souls all get kind of downloaded into like the meat bags and we get to operate. <laughs> huh. and we get to operate yeah. around like, like we're right. We're ga gaining Little experience. avatars. Yeah. We're yeah. Avatars yeah. gaining experience yeah, yeah. and, uh, you know, building up energy so that when our meat bags expire, Give up. That when the energy goes back to the, to the mother energy or the father mm -hmm. energy, whatever, that it's able to keep that thing powered. Like yeah. there's something existing in another dimension yes. that we think is God and we put a name on it because that's the only way we can. We're trying it. Exactly. Right. Yeah. But we the are all part of it. We are all it. Yeah. It is us. We are it. We yeah. are all connected to each other. And the aim of all religions is to remember that. Yeah. And to be able to go make as Something's good of a life as you on. can to right. get the most amount of energy so yeah. that when your meat bag shuts down, that the energy, when it goes back up to the, to the superior source energy, mm -hmm. that we're bringing as much like battery power back to that to keep it going as possible. And that thing exists outside of time and space. Right. There's no time. Dreams of... We have dreams of past lives. We're able mm -hmm. to have like psychic connections. Sometimes we're able to see like dead people, which are like the energy plumes coming down from this main thing that don't go into a meat bag. And it's just like a memory of something you're like, Oh, like people can see ghosts. People can mm -hmm. have, have extra sensory perceptions because they're just getting an extra little bit of juice yeah. from the main source energy. Like that's so, what I'm definitely into. And I'm, I'm yeah. So you're I'm getting to instead the, of, instead of consuming it all from that pipe, yeah, I I like putting stuff back into it to see what comes out. Yeah, and so basically, I don't know if you've listened to the show a lot, yeah, but sometimes I, I get it. into these, I get into these, not rants because I'm not ranting. It's not angry. Right, you're just ex but, you're but articulating. You know, Elijah, sometimes mm -hmm. I know what it's like. You know when when someone is preaching, yeah, and and they get taken by the spirit. Sometimes I feel that there's stuff being beamed into my head, bro. Yes. And I say it on the show and mm -hmm. it's almost like a thought that I'm thinking outside of myself that's being streamed into my head and it comes out of my mouth. And it's stuck. When I listen back in the edit, I'm like, who the fuck is that talking? I feel that right now, me. dude. I feel they're that right now. They're not I, thoughts that I've had. Yeah. I'm feeling I'm something just, weird right now. I'm speaking truth or something speaking truth. Yes. Explaining it with a vocabulary that I've never verbalized before. Yeah. Mm hmm. I think that's called the Holy that, Spirit, man. I, I feel it, bro. I think that I could be the Holy Spirit, you know? bro. Seriously. I feel it. And that and see, that's that's uh, uh the start of and it's good to to begin there and start to think, hold on, th this life is way, way more precious and, and important and and metaphysical and um three dimensional and four dimensional. You know, there's something going on here that is not just as it seems. You live, you die, that's it, there's nothing. It's too intense, man. 
if you just take a look into space, it's too intense. I mean, you, you see that you see it never ends. The next star is you could go at the, you could travel at 600,000 miles a second, which is a speed of light for 20 years, or, or I think it's like a thousand years and you're just getting close to the next star. Mm. And that star is in a massive Milky Way galaxy that's filled with billions of stars. And then you got that, that little galaxy is a tiny dot. And then that one's, you know what I mean? And it just, it, it's so huge that it, it's too hard for me to accept that that was in the pin of a head and it exploded on its own and nothing created it. And it's just, it's just there. It, it doesn't, you know it doesn't mental, work. What's mental is all the lads who built the religion that you're devoutly quoting mm -hmm. up until about 200 years ago, claimed that Jerusalem was the center of that whole universe and that yeah. the sun moved around the earth and yeah, you know, all of these fallacies that we know, like it was very egocentric towards the car, the corporeal, the paganistic, the human, the, 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 the flesh bound. Yeah. It was very archaic. Egoic. It was yeah. archaic and egoic towards yeah. humanity being the only thing on the planet. I think lots of people are shedding that now and becoming a little bit more aware that like, we're not the only things in the universe, not, not, not to mind in our universe, but in other universes, like in yeah. CERN, they've already proved that there's other parallel universes. They're trying to fucking shoot. Yeah, CERN blows my mind. Other, like that's yeah. fucking that's yeah. where God lives. Like God's at work in that thing, whatever you call God or I call God. Yeah, like they're fucking with some serious well, shit there. Didn't like, you hear that they 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 started calling it the God particle when they started exploding those things, and then they changed the name to the Higgs boson because yeah. it was freaking too many people out. Yeah. You know, because because when those two atoms, I mean, they're not even atoms; they're like nor uh, neutrons, yeah. it, microscopic. You can't see them; they shoot millions of them at each other. And eventually they collide and that's yeah. basically what they're doing over there. And then when they collide, something happens when it explodes there, they saw this energy or something. And then dark, it just, fuck, matter, yeah. it just fucking pulled it back in and they're like, Oh my God. They're creating mini what black is holes, this? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's what, it's what space is mostly full of. Yeah. Like and they space is mostly that stuff. Dark though. matter, but they, but they have no idea what the hell it is. It's basically no. just a theory, you know? And yeah, so there's a lot of stuff out there that's beyond the human uh, human understanding, and I yeah. think a lot of people get caught up in the day to day. Exactly. And you're saying like you know, most people aren't doing the humdrum, don't going along, just filling in the gaps. Right. I think I think you're maybe thinking a little bit higher frequency than a lot of people. Mm -hmm. uh, I know I am. Right. I know I'm for sure. In the high up frequencies, man. Yeah. Because it's it you know it's it's. Fun, it's electric. It's man. also it's also yeah. financially lucrative now because I have a show that, that yeah, that's great, man. Kind of you know permits me, but also to obliges think. me to do it. Yes, right? exactly. I can't you know I can't stop and go get a real job now. It's like, you know, it's <laughs> hey, dude, I commend you, bro. I I go, I go to work every day and I see bars on the windows and it's 115 degrees in the shop and I'm sweating my ass off and and I just all I can think about is man, I should have stayed in school. <laughs> so should I, man? There's nothing, in, nothing. This fucking school taught me to, yeah. to have me like this, you know, for sure. But it, but my my point, is, well, basically, not. I should have stayed in school. Maybe my thought would have been I should have made better decisions because when I was younger, I wanted to be a rock star. I wanted to smoke weed and drink beer at a young age. I thought that was a Same. cool thing to do. You Same. know, I thought I was gonna be a rock star, and uh, yeah, and then that led to. Uh, a couple of nights at the pub on the weekend playing my own songs for 30 people making 20 bucks a night. You know what I mean? Well, and then I was like, it, all right. yeah, yeah. Oh no, it's a blast for sure. Yeah. And, uh, but I still make my own music. I put it like on my YouTube channels and I make it for my friends and stuff, but, but I never, it never turned into a job. And so that's when I started like, man, I have all this badass mu music equipment. I should just start a podcast because I love listening to podcasts. That's exactly and, how uh, I did the same thing. Yeah. I, I went from music to really comedy to filmmaking to podcasting and then used all the, the stuff that I right. did all the way along. Exactly. Audio and, yeah. you know, the comedy part and the video and media production part and just like smashed it all together. Exactly. Um, Like there's no reason why you can't. 35 yeah. is young, dude. There's no yeah. reason why you can't, you know? Yeah. I mean, I'm already talking to fucking those conspiracy guys. So, well, come I mean, on, I'm just a guy. You're, I'm just yeah. a guy standing in front of a guy <laughs> with no pants on under my desk because it's too hot. But you can't see that on camera. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but 
yeah, Gore, I, I would encourage you, man, to, uh, I know you said you kind of are going tit, tit for tat on, is, is there a God or not, but you got to explore that one, dude. Cause I feel like wow. there's something going on. There's something that can't be explained. And I, I can't, it's impossible for me to accept that when I die, nothing happens. I can't accept that's, that. I think, you know what? I think that's the reason people invented God. Cause it's quite hard to think. Right. When you're gone, there's yeah. nothing. Yeah. And I find solace in the, I just, we just had a daughter, you know, she's, she's yeah. seven months old. It's awesome, man. And I know when I'm gone, she'll, she'll be around and, yeah. and you know, it's, that's nearly She'll have kids and then, yeah. It's a, you know, and I'm not about like spread the, I made the lineage and, you know, keep the fucking right. line. It's like, nah, I don't give a fuck about that shit, man. It's just like, like I, I, I everyone wants to make an impact. Nobody yeah. wants to be forgotten. Uh, yeah, you for know, sure. Like, a, like, a, a, in Troy, you know, and your man's going, <laughs> yeah, that's why I have to keep my lineage. Your name. You know, <laughs> yeah. this kind of thing. Yeah. We, or um, like Japan, when they try to kill their whole fucking lineage, you know, so yeah. they won't uh, rise to power and, you know, that's it. Like, so like nobody wants to be forgotten. Yeah. Uh, whether they're alive or dead. Yeah. And I think that there's a, there's something in the human condition that there's a hole there that, right. That religion or God feels so real nice, you know, just yeah. fills it up real nice. Yeah, but I think there's something even deeper again than that. Um, yeah, it could be something else that we it. haven't even put our finger on. Yeah, you know, exploring it uh, from from like you said, from a metaphysical point of view. Yeah, from a from a quantum physics super pseudoscience type of right like science religion mix, um, mm -hmm. and all of these guys saying the further you de delve deep down into science of creation, what's unilaterally or or what's usually it, it, at the end of it is God. And they yeah, all because that, yeah, because like, it's too complex. Like I uh, think we live in a simulation. I think we live in a simulation. And there's <laughs> yeah, there's a, there, you know when the it's universe started crazy, the Big dude. Bang, it started with that noise that happens when you turn on a Mac and it just goes like, bah! like that. <laughs> that's the fucking Big Bang yeah. and the operating system booted up. But yeah, it's very plausible, you know, Mandela effect and all that shit. But uh, yeah, it's something that we should talk about again someday, maybe. Yeah, dude, I would love let's that. Get your let's get your dad on and let's go. Oh, hard at dude, it. I, I've been trying to. I've been trying Do to it. get him on it, dude. He is hardcore, bro. Like he'll let's blow go, your mind. Let's go. Get your I'm gonna talk to him, man. We'll get you down. We'll do a three, a three, a three mic job, and we'll see. <laughs> I, I go, I go all Richard Dawkins on his ass, and he'd be all like, <laughs> "I would love Ezekiel that." Ezekiel eleven thirteen says, <laughs> "Put your damn pants on." <laughs> We're yeah. on a podcast. Yeah. Um, hey, well, I, 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 I see, I see. You got the nod. Dinner's probably ready for you, bro. Yeah, yeah, so I did. Yeah. To, uh... Hey, Gord, thank you so much for coming on the Happy show, birthday, man. man. And thank Hope you, had man. A good time. I didn't know yeah, it was your birthday or would have brought a cake or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you, man. Thank you for no coming problem. on my show and hanging Thanks out with me for a while. Me. This was great, man. And tell, if, uh, uh, tell all my people where they can find you when they're listening to this on the spot. Please, man. You know what? Throw that out there real quick. You do it. Okay. Gordo. He No, is... you do your own one. Oh, oh my, my bad. Oh, on the badass. Yeah, oh, okay, bro. badass. Hell yeah. Thank you, man. Uh, I have a podcast on Spotify and iTunes. It's called Lizard News Network. I have a YouTube channel. It Just type in my name, Elijah Mendiola. Uh, I got music and mainly podcasts and all kinds of weird shit on there. But uh, yeah, and uh, I'm on Twitter on... Uh, What's at your two Liz favorite episodes? Two favorite episode topics so people can... What would best represent of mine? if people went looking? Oh, dude, you got to check out the Falun Gong one with uh, Mitchell Gerber. Nice. That one was my favorite for sure. And I just recently talked to a guy about the backside of the moon. And Ooh. he told me that he knew, he knows people that personally that were in a CIA building. It was like, uh, it was like, like, uh, Indiana Jones. Remember when they wheel in that, uh, crate yes, into a map? Yeah. He said that there was a room that big full of documents and they were oh, able God. to see some of them and they fucking saw aliens in the backside of the moon with massive, uh, infrastructures and everything. Nazis and he and swears to it. And all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that one was freaking great, man. Amazing. So it, yeah. I, I link those two in the in the description below. I get the links from Spotify and throw them in for my people. To awesome, man. Thank Real you so much, Hell Thanks yeah. for having me on, bro. I really appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Anyone man. Anyone can find me on those conspiracy guys .com, Any of your people, and yeah. uh, uh, there's a tap link. I, I'll send it to you that has all yeah. the links for everywhere you can find Badass. it. Badass. But um, I really enjoyed today, man. Thanks so much. Yeah, man. And, that was a lot uh, of hope fun. Hope you enjoy bro. the rest of your birthday. Thank you, man. Talk to you soon, Gordo. Thanks. All right, bro. See ya. Bye.